What in the world is going on there, you bunch of jackwhackers? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. How's it going? It's been so long. It's been a while. It's been a while, chat. Anybody miss me? Did anybody miss me? Honestly, did you even miss me? Seriously, come on. Really? How's everybody doing? Happy uh, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. What's going on, chat? Welcome, everybody. We got a handful of people in here. Tim, Henrik, Matt, Dublin Games, Watchdog, Dexter, Mia, John, Brian, Nightwolf, Elizabeth Sturdy, David Boom Jr., Chad Carlson, Kale Hansen, Dexter's in the house. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. We're here on the uh, survival series on the Western Wilds by Alien Jim. This map is brought to you in part by Alien Jim. It can be found on the Mod Hub for Farming Simulator 2022. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. How's everybody been? How's everybody been? We got uh, lots to do tonight. Canola harvesting. Uh, big grass field that needs cut. Oh, I can't, I can't feed the sheep by dumping grass into their water bin. Probably not going to make them too happy to have water all in their water. Having grass poured in their water trough. Wet, soggy grass, probably not on their menu. There we go. That's a little better. Put it in where the actual grass goes. Uh, what's up, Kevin Wilson, Dan, John Giblin, Ryan Baltz, Dakota Stevenson, Joshua Hoffman, Thomas Heyman, Aaron Kidder, Glenn May, Dakota VFL, Duan Baker, <coughs> Justin Vanderford, Tommy Powers, <coughs> Chris Wilson, Matthew Vanderwall, and many others. Welcome. Uh, Thomas Heyman celebrating two-month anniversary. He says, hello, Frosty. Hope you had a great weekend, start of your week. Thanks for letting us come along as you make some money, Daddy. Get her done. Thank you, sir. Rock by gotcha. I think uh, at the beginning of the stream, it already rolled up, but I think it was Duane Baker came in with the gifted membership. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we had a gifted sub from Duane Baker. I'm not sure who it went to, but congratulations whoever got it. And thank you, Duane. All right, so grass is uh, topped off for the sheep. They're good. They don't need any more food. The rest of this grass is going in our fermenters, all right, for our cows. I hired someone to cut the grass because last time we cut that field, it took forever. It is a large grass field. So I just went ahead and hired a worker to uh, cut that for us because I do want to get that canola harvest done. We've got gold bars to sell. We've got all kinds of stuff to keep us busy tonight. So cutting grass was just kind of going to slow us down. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's get our first load of grass in there. Right. Get that activated so it can start fermenting. Turn the grass into some silage. All right, so it's going into this troth not troth this uh silo we're gonna convert that grass into silage so we're going to activate it all right and then we're gonna be uh switching back and forth between that silo and this one this one will turn it into hay and then you know the drill we will mix the hay with the silage to to make delicious total mixed ration tmr and what a beautiful day that's going to be. I'll tell you right now, it's going to be delicious. We're going to have happy cows up in here. Uh, how are there over 100 people in here? And I don't know, Pleasant. You need to start smacking people, all right? If you smack people, I'm sure it'll change. All right? That's all that needs to be done. You just need to smack a few people around. How's Pleasant doing? Uh, what happened last night? Farm Sim was not working. That's what happened. Uh, and I wasn't the only one. A lot of people were having issues. I, I, the, everybody said something different. But uh, the one that made the most sense out of everything I've heard lately is the new, pa the new game patch is coming up soon because there's going to be a huge new update with the new map for the uh, premium edition. I think Giants has been doing updates that we don't see. Like we're not seeing the updates happen. But they're doing updates in the background, getting ready for the big uh, expansion. 
And I think that's what was slowing some people's experience down with loading their game or loading their mods. Because it wasn't just me. I had a, quite a few people comment that they've also been having the same issue. But today, everything was fine. It loaded up like normal. It took me four hours last night. I kept thinking I was doing something wrong. And I just gave up after a while. And then right around like midnight, I fired it up again and everything launched like it usually does. So I think there's just background maintenance going on before they release the uh, premium expansion. That's my story. That's what I believe. That's what I think's happening. I don't know if it's the truth, but it sounds pretty cool. And it sounds like it could be the truth. I don't know. Pineapple is good on pizza. I agree. Uh, let's see. Frost's TMR is the most delicious TMR ever. It slaps nipples hard. Good evening, everyone. Yes, Ian. You couldn't have said it any uh, better. It sounds perfect. The way you just uh, delivered that is just like I would deliver that. You're absolutely right. So, yeah, we're going to scoop up some grass to get started. Get those uh, fermenters all topped off and... Then uh, we got some gold to sell. I think I got like three or four pallets that are ready to load up and sell, and they're worth a pretty penny too. So getting into the gold business was a huge advantage to our uh, survival series. We're going to be making a lot of extra money now each month we uh, fast forward time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought the game was going to crash. Woo, that was a hard freeze. You guys see that? Uh, what's up, Intense Gaming? Hello, laddie. WH, Corey, Arendt, hello, hello. Hunter Julian, I already liked it for you, Frosty. Good content. Thank you, Hunter Julian. Thank you very much. Intense says, can you smack me? I would love to. If I could get the chance, I'd smack you good, buddy. How's that sound? that make you feel good? Uh, it took a long time for it to load on Sun. Yeah, I, that's what a lot of people were saying. Uh, Night Wolf Gaming also coming in with a gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming membership. This one's going to Fred Murphy. Fred Murphy, does that make you feel good inside or warm and fuzzy? It should. Because that was very nice of Night Wolf Gaming to do that for you. Very nice. That's 30 days of being a member without paying because Night Wolf did it for you. You ought to smack him right upside the head and say thank you, Daddy. Uh, let's see. It's being, uh, it's tough being a gold frosty. It's tough being a gold miner. Yes. What's up, Texas Beach Bum? Mr. Lewis? Where's Mr. Lewis at? I'm farming. What's up, Mr. Lewis? I am farming. Farming is in session here. While that's going, let's top off the cows with some, uh, TMR. There should be some in the truck already. There is not. Okay. So we are going to make a fresh mix here. My truck is empty, so therefore, we will make a fresh batch of total mixed ration. It's the cheap version of, uh, it's actually the more expensive version, because we're using it more. So to me, this is the expensive TMR, because we are not using straw. We are only mixing silage and hay. All right, so let's grab some silage out of here. And we're going to fill that to about 50%. Right about there. And then we'll drive right over to our hay silo, which dries the grass into hay. Same thing, but this time we're going to top it off with hay. Together they will make a delicious, delicious mixture of delicious cow food. The cows go wild for my TMR. It's exquisite. It hits every happy nerve in those cows' udders that you could even imagine. They get so excited when I uh, pull up right here and get ready to dump a delicious load of TMR into their trough. Thank you very much. Enjoy, little cow cows. All right, so that's going to fill up. And this is empty, so we'll go back and get a refill. What do you say, Daddy? Let's do it. Multitasking. You know, sometimes you just got to multitask on farm sim. It's the only way you'll get things done. We got Intense Gaming celebrating 14 months 
at Jack Wacker level two says, oh look, 14 months of hanging with Frosty. <laughs> yeah, oh, baby. Nice. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Too. Thank you for your longevity, sir. Do you appreciate it? All right, so we're gonna get back to vacuuming some grass, as Red Acres would say. A little vacuumage. I need to make a vacuum sticker. A vacuum sticker? Like, here's here's what I'm envisioning, chat. So, a vacuum, but instead of sucking up carpet, it would be like a big vacuum with tractor tires going over a field of grass. That would, that's, that'd be a good sticker right there. Vacuum time. Yeah! What do you think of that? Uh, well, I'm on the fifth time of Giants testing the cow barn. Holy crap, five times? They don't, they don't take it easy on anybody, do they, uh, Pleasant? Five times you've been waiting to get it to go through? Nice! At that rate, we might see it by Christmas time. What do you think? Maybe Thanksgiving, it'll be a Thanksgiving release. Wow, yeah, they, uh, they've got a lot of, uh, things they have to make sure is perfection. I don't know what it is with them. It can be very hard on you. All right, I got to get this guy out of the way. He's all done cutting grass. Let's go hide him in the woods here. Shouldn't need to cut any grass after this field. Let's park him out of the way there. Uh, hey, Frosty, it will be me and my wife's third wedding anniversary on Sunday. Three years. Congratulations, Mark. It's awesome, buddy. The three-year anniversary. Very nice. I think whenever the next one happens for Miss Frosty and I, it's going to be 16. 16 years, whenever that is. I better figure out when that is. Yeah, I gotta think about when that is. I'm horrible with dates. And luckily, my wife doesn't get mad at me because she knows I have a horrible memory. I just, I can't remember nothing. I think it's in March, but it might be in May. I know the month starts with an M. I do know that much. Just can't remember which one, March or May. But yeah, it'll be a long time, 16 years. I just don't know when that'll be. <laughs> Ah, uh, that truck looks the same one I drove feed cows when I worked on the farm. Oh, the, uh, the Ford. Yeah, that, that truck's by Whiskey Sierra Modding. Whiskey Sierra Modding on Farm Sim 22. He's, he's got all kinds of mods. Uh, that is a third, third party mod, so it's not on the Mod Hub, I don't think. I think you have to get it from his... I can't remember if that's on the Mod Hub or... I don't think that's on the Mod Hub. That truck I use. I don't think so. Now, where did I dump my last load? I think I dumped the last load in the hay bin. So now I'm dumping into this bin over here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll get that dumped. We'll get this guy parked up. Cows are all fed. Stalls are clean. Cows are fed. Mama said she's grounded till she's dead. Something like that. Yeah, that is a cool little truck, isn't it? Nice little Ford TMR trip. What I love is it has a monitor inside. It tells you how much silage is left in there. So there's about 5,400 liters left. Isn't that cool? I thought that was quite lovely. Right. Look at the timing. I'm telling you, the multitasking is on point tonight. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Uh, we got Dan Me coming in with the eight month anniversary. We got multiple anniversaries. Dan Me celebrating eight months. Chase Weedle celebrating 14 months. Says, wow, it's been a while, daddy. And then we got Ian Oppenheim celebrating 16 months. Since it's been a while since I've asked you, what was your favorite moment this past weekend? I don't know about the weekend, but my favorite moment of today is I got an email saying for my son 
to come to JV practice. And then uh, he went to practice tonight. And then after practice, he came out of practice outside and said, I'm officially on the JV team now. They had to move some things around and they wanted him and his other friend to play JV this season. So my eighth grade son, he's an eighth grader, is now an official JV basketball player at school. So today was pretty awesome. Very, very proud of him, happy for him. For cloud nine for the whole family. We're all excited and so is he, so. Yeah, pretty, pretty exciting day. It's gonna be hard to make me grumpy tonight. Even if the game crashes, I'm probably still gonna be in a good mood. Uh, you just seen it? What'd you see? Puppy monkey baby, huh? Frosty, hello. What's up, Stewie Norfolk? Mr. Farslane really likes that Bob Ross sticker. He likes it a lot. He put it down quite a few times there. That's a uh, beautiful artwork brought to you by John McKinley. He's a very artsy fartsy type. Uh, amazing well done. I know, I am super proud, Dan. Very excited. So, yep. Craziness, though crazy uh, schedule so practice every day but Wednesday and it's later in the day after school gets out so we are gonna just be driving around like maniacs all the time my daughter today my daughter started volleyball for uh, YMCA school volleyball is over so now she's playing YMCA volleyball so Miss Frosty and I we had to split up and do driving because take them to school and then my son had an orthodontist appointment today. And then I had to take him back to basketball. My daughter had a Christmas play practice right after school. And then had to go straight from practice to volleyball. And then my son needed to be picked up from basketball. It's, it's crazy. So uh, definitely going to be putting the miles on the car. <laughs> but it's worth it. It'll, it's going to be an exciting winter season. Uh, glad to hear. Thank you, David. Thank you very much, sir. That's great. This is quite lovely, Ryan. I was quite excited about that. Yes. I'm sure he must be happy, proud. Yeah, super proud. So excited. We had to order uh, tonight. We had to order like the warm up shirt and pants for the because you have to have it for the team. So it's all official, like a referee with a whistle chat. All right. While that's emptying, let's see if the. Uh, sheep need water i'm gonna continue all this multitasking i'm just in the multitasking mood tonight usually i do things like one at a time but i'm just running around like a maniac you know all right let's top them off with some high quality h2o and then the sheep will be done watered and fed won't have to worry about them Nice. We're also in the month of July. I did fast forward to the next month so the canola would be ready to harvest. So since the last time we streamed this, we just skipped forward one month. That's all. So the only thing that changed as far as crops was our canola's ready and that grass field we're knocking out was ready also. There we go. Maybe noise. Uh, better stock up on a couple extra alternators for the winter. I, I hope I don't need a new alternator. Different vehicle. That vehicle is long gone. So alternators are not on my mind anymore. <laughs> Hopefully we, it doesn't have to be on my mind, right? Oh my goodness. That was a bad luck vehicle. And you know what? Everybody always talks so highly about Honda Odysseys. That's the one that had all the issues with the alternator. I'm, I, after all that, I will never buy a Honda again. And I know Hondas are reputable. I'm just saying, after my experience with a Honda, I don't think I ever want to get one again. That was a nightmare. Two, I mean, the alternator stuff was just a hot mess, and it just kept happening over and over again. So yeah, no more Hondas for me. No more hunts for me, no. Uh, 
I've been trying to deal on a different combine for my real life farm, a John Deere 9 to 400. That's a lot bigger than the one you have, right, Pleasant? Like, a lot bigger, correct? Yeah, that one you have is pretty darn old, but in the videos, it looks like it still runs like a champ. So I imagine you're going for maybe a, a wider header and maybe something that holds more and it gets more done. Is that kind of what you're looking at? That's exciting. Scary at the same time, but exciting, you know? Is that feed truck on the mod hub? It is not. Uh, I don't think so. It's by, but I do know it's by Whiskey Sierra Modding. And I think he either has an itch.io or a personal website. Um, yeah, I think it's an itch.io. So go check that out, uh, Fent Farmer, and you'll see the, his truck on there. He's got some other cool trucks, too. Trailers, occasionally. Hey, right. We're getting there, chat. We almost got all this grass vacuumed up. Oh, which one did I dump in last? Trying to even this out. Trying to keep both silos uh, evened out here. Let's see, let's see. So this one has 74 plus 54. And then the hay has 80 plus 68. So we'll throw this in the silage. Yeah. Just trying to rotate each time. There we go, laddie. We got Hunter Julian coming in with a massive first time ever super chat. First time ever sending a super chat. And he drops a massive $50 super chat. It's his first live I've been able to catch. Happy to be here. Holy smokes. He ain't kidding, chat. He is not kidding. Uh, thank you so much, Hunter Julian, with the massive support to the channel. You are appreciated. Thank you very much, sir. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what's the purpose of the additive on that wagon? <clears throat> the purpose of the additive on that wagon? Uh, I don't have an additive on this wagon. This one doesn't have one. If you're talking about this thing on the Kubota, that's just... I use it as a weight for, uh, for uh, stability. That actually is the second part of my herbicide sprayer for when I kill weeds. But that's the only reason that's there. Yeah, that has nothing to do with this. Yeah, this uh, forage wagon is from the Mod Hub, and I don't think there was an option to put the silage additive on it. There may have, but I don't, I don't remember seeing one. Yeah, that's just an extra tank for, for uh, herbicide. Yes, sir, Bobby. And I just leave it on there. Because it looks cool, I guess. Kind of looks weird. And I like that. I like weird stuff. Uh, you the man, Hunter. Thank you very much, sir. I can't thank you enough for the uh, the, the massive drop there. Uh, it's good thing Stevenson is not here. Don't say that. Stevenson's usually always here. Even Just because he's not chatting doesn't mean he's not here. He's a sneaky guy. He's been playing a lot of Euro Truck Simulator lately. I've been seeing him logging all kinds of loads uh, for the Blizzard Express. He's been enjoying the West Balkans. He's been traveling all over that new DLC. Uh, what's up, Orville Ward? Hello there, laddie. It's Gizit. How are you? Uh, good evening, Anthony Wilson. Hello, hello. My son is 50 years old today, says Elizabeth oh, Sturdy. Ooh. Happy birthday to your son, Elizabeth. Happy birthday. 50 years old. He's got me by 11 years. I'm st I still consider myself somewhat young. I don't know when you're supposed to call yourself old, but I haven't hit 40 yet, so I'm just going to pretend I'm still young for a little longer. Ah, uh, look at this chat. I think one more round and we might be able to finish this up. This field provides so much grass, which is great. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like we're caught up enough 
where we might be able to convert this field. Oh, no, we can't. You know what? We can't. I could have picked up more. I don't know why I came over here. Um, with seasons on, I don't think I can. I don't think there's... Yeah, there's nothing I can plant. So we'll let it grow probably another time and... Yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna use that as a grass field all the way until the spring. And then we're gonna plow it in and put a different type of crop in here. Yeah, I missed the window to plan in it last time. I accidentally Thank you. I accidentally fast forward a time. Uh Fent Farmer also coming in with the ten dollar super chat. That is Fent Farmer. One one six seven. Coming in with the nine ninety nine super chat. Thank you, Fent Farmer. Thank you, Daddy. Fent Farmer, are you excited? What do we got? Seven, eight, nine. How many days? The new Call of Duty releases in a few days. Something like that. It's very exciting. I'm excited. I played the campaign over the weekend. Finished it. The campaign was very fun. I enjoyed it. Um, didn't take long. I think it was like a few hours of campaign. And it was, I was done with it. But it was good. Had a nice storyline to it. But the official multiplayer releases sometime this week. Towards the end of the week, I think. That'll be good for the Pew Pew channel. Uh, Grumpy Gray Farmer. Celebrating that one month. Says, missed you playing Farm Sim. Well, here I am, sir. You don't have to miss it no more. I'm right here doing it. See? See? I'm doing it right here. Vacuuming some grass. Uh, two more nights. Two more nights. That's not bad. There was a huge pre-release download today. It was like 125 gigs or something crazy. So that took like an hour to download. It was downloading so slow for some reason. Probably because everybody and their mother was downloading, downloading it. <clears throat> but it's all ready to go. Uh, Mr. Fireslane celebrating 25 months. You crazy. 25 months of Jack Whacker level 3. Mr. Fireslane. Oh, goodness, Lottie. Oh, goodness. Thank you very much for the 25 months. Two years and a month of support. That is a long time, chat. That is a long time to, to uh, enjoy somebody's content. I think he still enjoys it. He's still here, right? That's a long time. <clears throat> uh, Tony Martig. Hello, Tony. How's Tony doing? All right, that should be good enough. Yep. Pretty much got the uh, majority of it. I don't care about the little specs. That looks pretty clean, in my opinion. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll, out of so there, finally all done with that. That is a massive grass field. And I'm, I kind of don't even care about putting slurry on it at this point. Like, I don't even care. Where did I dump the last load? I can't remember nothing, chat. Cannot remember a darn thing I do. All right, 81 and 98. Holy cow, that's a lot. 81 and 98 and then 89 and 75 so we'll put the last load in the silage one that'll kind of even things out yeah, this would be quite lovely right there I'm actually not going to dump all this I'm going to leave about 24,000 liters in there that's like it's almost two months of food for the uh, sheep. So I like to leave a little extras. There you go. Slam bam, thank you, man. Almost five years all together. I don't know, you've been you've been here for a while. Well, f four, four years. I've only been streaming for four last month, you jackwhacker. I've been here five. You're adding years to my streaming career. But yeah, I've been a streamer for four years. Last last month was four-year anniversary. Yep. Hey, Frosty, how was your weekend? Do anything exciting? Just busy. Just very busy. 
But yeah, everything's good. Um, just busy. We've been very busy lately. Just running around like crazy and just doing all kinds of stuff. School and even sports and basketball, volleyball. <clears throat> yeah, it's been busy. Busyness. Uh, what should I do next? Let me check my list. I got a list. I got to check it. We fed the cows. We fed the sheep. Uh, let's deliver some slurry. Let's deliver the slurry with my big trip. Uh, since we fast forwarded a month, we should have quite a bit of uh, slurry loaded up in the uh, dang it, in the slurry pit. Go get it. This big old Peter built to work. Uh, we got Duane Baker coming in with another gifted membership. This time going to Ryan Bolts. Congratulations, Ryan Bolts. You've been gifted a membership from Duane Baker. You know, nice as that. Thank you, Duane, for another membership. Appreciate you, sir. Miss Fireslan, make me. Uh oh, what'd she say? What'd she say? What'd she say about her, about her other half? Do you really expect him to do math? I, I think we're we're both on the same spectrum when it comes to uh, math. I can't stand math, so he probably struggles at it like I do. If I had to guess, we're we're, we're not mathematicians, Miss Fireslan. Okay. All right, let's pop my lids. Let's load this up. I, oh, I just ran over my uh, magical cane. It's not good. All right, look at this. We got our little gauge we can look at here. That'll tell us how much this bad boy can hold. Take it all. Might have some leftovers. Nice. Woo, daddy. 62,000 liters. 62,000 liters of slurry. That was only by fast forwarding like one month. Crazy. Whoop. Let's move the truck out of the way. There we go. It's my little magical animal cane. All right, let's close our little cabinet. Close our lids. We got a big load of crap. I'm gonna take it over to the biogas plant, which we purchased on the, the previous episode. So now we're making uh, methane out of our slurry. Well, I mean, partially making methane. And then the methane gets distributed to our gold processing factory. And then we have gold to sell pretty awesome it's uh it's a very nice situation we're in financially yes let's go dump it like it's hot this thing must hold like 70,000 liters or something it's at 93 percent there's still a little room in there we got a lot of harvesting coming up in the next episode because I think this field and the big field on the other side of that trees will be ready. And uh, those are uh, the one field's massive. So lots of harvesting coming up soon. Love the smell of slurry in the morning. It'll get it'll wake you up. It'll get you uh, functioning. That truck does stink. It needs a wash. Struggling a little bit. Pulling this load. Uh, sleeping with one eye open for safety? You have to. You have to. Hello, Mr. Akers. How's Rhett doing? Aw, oh, Rhett, you missed it. We were vacuuming. I spent the first half hour vacuuming my big uh, grass field. You missed it all. You missed all the vacuuming, sir.
All right, so I found out there's like a separate little road to get in here. Wow, this thing is like dragging. So slow. There's a little wraparound driveway that comes in the other side, which is perfect because that's right where we want to unload the slurry. So I'm going to take that path. I didn't really know where it led before, but now I do. All this little road right here. This kind of wraps right around inside the uh, production plant. This is where we unload our slurry. All right. Now that looks like a party up in there. That's pretty gross. That's pretty disgusting. Where's the slurry stickers? Did, did the slurry sticker break or just nobody knew it was there? That is a crap load of slurry. So that'll keep this thing running and making more methane and digestate, which I think we're selling the digestate. Or maybe it's stockpiling it. I don't know. But the methane's getting distributed over to the uh, gold production. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And we're all unloaded. I'm gonna see if the uh, gold plant needs any water. I don't think it does, but if it does, we'll uh, fill this up with a little bit of water. But I think I already topped it off earlier. Yeah, it's pretty much full. Uh, we've been purchasing stones, just buying them because we don't have stones. So we just kind of purchase those. Uh, we're going to spend $4,200 to pretty much top that off so it can keep running. But all the methane is being distributed right from our our uh, biogas plant. So we just put in 70,000 liters of slurry. And then it turns it into methane and digestate, which we can sell once it loads up more. It's not really worth selling at the moment. Only 13,000 liters. But eventually... We can load that up in this trailer and go sail it for some money. You know what? Why don't we just do it right now? Because it sounds fun. I do want to sell some. And I think I can get that. Where do I load that up? Digest state. Maybe load up right here? Yeah, I think that's where you get it. So might as well. We're already here. I just want to see how much money we get for it. And then we'll sell it at the, uh, sell everything. Yeah, there we go. Digest it. Hey, Frosty, I can't be here all night. I have to work 5 a.m. We'll get your butt out of here, Jordan. Oh, that would be some dirty water. Yes. Be pretty gross. You don't want to swim in that pool? Why not? It's kind of not a party. It's not. Pretty unsanitary. I don't know, is it? It might be all right. Studies say that taking a bath in slurry is good for your skin. Didn't you guys know that? That's what the studies say. Farmer Billy, he, he, uh, he did a survey and definitely came back with results of softer skin after a bath in a slurry pit. But you didn't know that. All right, I'm gonna sell this stuff, see if it uh, gives us much money. I don't know if it's worth much or not. I don't know. But we got money coming from all angles now. We got, we can sell digestate. We can sell uh, gold bars. We can sell straw products. We're going to be making bread because I am going to build a bakery at some point. Uh, maybe tonight, once we sell stuff, we might have enough money to put in a bakery. It's going to be fancy. It's going to be nice. We're going to have too many productions. I'm not going to know what to do with them all. I do have another new production uh, in store for tonight. 
uh, something that came to the mod hub recently and it sounds interesting so we might dabble with that a little bit too you know uh, that's his mud a golden shower is not my th golden shower not your thing huh all right top right corner let's see how much this stuff's worth I don't think I've ever sold this stuff. Ooh, it ain't it ain't worth much at all. <laughs> Ugh, that was only worth seven hundred thirty-eight dollars with a forty-eight dollar bonus. We didn't even get eight hundred dollars out of that. Ouch. But I guess you know it's more of a leftover product of not the actual product so it's kind of like free money but not much definitely not getting much out of that that's okay that's okay time marches on good song time marches on all right chat what do you think should we sell stuff or get to harvesting feel like we should just uh, start selling stuff, get the stuff sold, and get that bank account nice and chunky, and then we'll fire up the harvester. What do you think about that? Uh, but I'm here now. What was for dinner? Dinner, pizza. I just ordered a pizza, and people ate the pizza in the car because we were just constantly running different places today, errands and stuff. Uh, that would be some dirty water. Jump in. That's bad. Sell, sell. Was that digestate you sold? Yeah, that was only 800 bucks. <laughs> 13,000 liters, too. Wood chips, I have set to auto sale. It just automatically sells it for us. All right, so I think we will run around and sell stuff. Let's detach from the tank. Look up to our flat bed. Come on, Bubba. All right. Can I swing that? Eh. Almost. All right, so we're just going to pick up pretty much everything I have. You know the drill. Load it up. Get on out. Question is, which side do I need to be on? I think we have to load on the passenger side. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe it is the uh, driver's side. <laughs> there goes the water trough. This thing doesn't have the best uh, turning radius. What's up, Jason? How are you? How's Carter doing? Hello, hello, hello. I'm glad to see your farm sim working. Mine's, you're still crashing, huh? I did, I did all kinds of stuff, but I don't even, I don't even know if I needed to. I don't, I don't know. I deleted my gym cache file. I deleted my um, shader files. I got rid of some old mods that I haven't used in forever just to cut back on some mods. Yeah, I got rid of all kinds of stuff. All right, so wool. We're actually going to not pick up eggs. And we're not going to pick up honey. I've got other plans for uh, those two things. Well, no, we'll sell the eggs. Never mind. Couple pallets of eggs. There was some straw product down at the uh, straw processing production, so we'll head over there. My next stop is uninstall. I did that. Uninstalled, reinstalled, checked and 
integrity of the files on Steam. I, I did everything. I did all kinds of stuff. Good evening, Mike Allemendinger. Hello. Joshua Holdman. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Let's see if we can swing this. Man, I can barely make these turns anymore. Need to make some uh, little edits in the, the road to make wider turns. All right, here's all our baskets and straw hats that we were able to make over the last month. There you go. And our newest production we put in was the dairy. It has not made anything because we haven't been able to put anything in it. But our cows are right on the verge of starting to make milk. And that's when we'll be able to start making cheese and butter. So we just got to kind of got to hang tight before we can do anything with all that stuff. Now we're going to load up stuff from the sawmill until we have a full load. Probably won't be able to fit it all on here, but we'll get what we can shove on there. Go. All right, we'll probably come back for the rest. This is a pretty full load here. This is gonna be a nice chunk of money, chat. Oh my goodness. We got prefabs, planks, straw, eggs, wool. Got a little bit of everything on here. I'm doing good, Brandon. Oh, you're talking to me. Almost every time I play, I add some mods. That that used to be me. I, I really have been cutting back since I haven't been streaming it as much. I've kind of cut back on the mod hoarding I was doing. <laughs> so uh, I've actually got rid of some mods just because of that reason. So, uh, we got Joshua Holdeman coming in with the two dollar super chat. Well, thank you, laddie. He says, How's it going? I'd like to tell you it's going well. Question is, how are you doing? How are you doing, laddie? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you, sir. Evening, Frank Jones. Best thing to do is just let it sit and load. Mods is definitely a reason for this with giant updating. Yep. Yeah, it's all good. My game loads up fine now. It just, yesterday, it did not load up fine. All right, top right corner. Top right corner. Top right corner. Look at that money flowing. Top right Thank corner, you. chat. We're about to be filthy rich. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I don't know about filthy, but that's still pretty good. We just made 60, about $67,000 on that load right there. That was a mighty profitable load, yes? No, I think so, it's very nice, yes. Now we go get some more from the sawmill, yes, it'd be very nice. Yeah, that, that worked out good for me, I like that. All right, so this time we'll just pull up right in here. And get the remaining uh, pallets. We got some planks and we got some something. I don't know what all that is. Scoot up just a little more. Go. And if we do this right, I should be able to pull out of here this way. Yes. Yes! All right, so there's our uh, leftovers. All right, top right corner once again. Woo. 
caught about 30 grand on the, the leftovers. Very nice. So we just made about $100,000 on uh, everything we had uh, that was ready to sell. The only thing I didn't sell was honey, and I'm going to show you why very soon, because we have enough money to put down our very new production. Let's roll, ladies and gentlemen. We got a brand new production coming your way very soon. <laughs> But first, we'll uh, preload the honey, because we're going to need the honey for this new production we've got that we're going to be putting down. So we'll go preload that real quick. How was your weekend, Frosty? you do anything? Ugh. I'm trying. We were super busy this weekend. I'm trying to remember what the heck we did. It was nonstop. I'm trying to remember what... Well, see, we have this thing. We have this world market store. Anybody have any world market stores near them where you guys live? Uh, but anyways, every holiday season, Thanksgiving and Christmas, the world market gives out. They hide. They hide these gift cards all through the store. And it's like a tradition for my family. We, we always go and we'll spend two hours just scanning the entire store trying to find these hidden gift cards anywhere from like 20 to a hundred dollar gift cards just hidden in the store they give you like one hint and then you just gotta just go look for it so we spent a lot of our time doing that on sunday <laughs> that was uh one of the big things we did uh, let's get that last pallet there Let's not be close enough. There we go. All right, so lots of honey. We did something else, too. I, I just can't remember. I can't remember what all we did. Watchdog, get your butt out of here. Get some sleep there, buddy. Have a good one, sir. Thank you for watching, as always. I bet you can't spend it as fast as you delivered it. I don't know. I, I forget how much. Well, I actually... You shouldn't have said that. We're about ready to spend it pretty quick here. And a lot of it's going to disappear. All right, so honey, check. We got 3,600 liters of honey to get our uh, our new production started. That's one of the ingredients we're going to need. All right, so we'll head down yonder. This has kind of been our Main Street Boulevard stretch of productions. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to put in our newest edition. So we're gonna park this here and I'm gonna use this piece of land over here. I'm gonna need a decent amount of land. Uh, so we're gonna utilize this area. Uh, if you missed our last episode, this is our newest one, our little bakery we added. So now we have the ability to make bread from our, uh, whatchamacallit, our old grain mill down the road. We can bring flour from there over here and then make bread here and make even more money. But uh, right now is a new production that they added like last week. Let me see here. So it is called, gotta find it. Out of all my mods. Apple tree with factory mod. An apple processing plant. So you're going to need sugar, apples, and water. And honey. We got the honey. We got the water. We're going to have apples. I'll show you that in a minute. Only thing we'll have to invest in is sugar, which isn't super expensive. And then we'll be able to make a couple different things. We'll be able to make... Uh, honey apple juice, I think, and something else. I'll show you once we get it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna plop this bad boy down right around here, I'm thinking. Actually, let's put that like right here. And then we're also gonna need under the orchards is some actual apple trees. They're $1,500 a piece and they require water. So I'm gonna make myself a little orchard uh, thingamajiggy here.
And let's see, we'll put one here. And then I'll slap one right here. So we'll start with that, see how that goes. Now I just gotta do some of my handy dandy landscaping. I think we'll go ahead and do uh, dirt this time since it's more of a, a dirty type of production. Uh, dirt roads, you know. Uh, never mind, I got it now, says Joshua. That one is terrible enough. I hadn't heard that since middle school. Here comes painting with, Fr yes, painting with Frosty. Bob Ross time. It's your uh, Frosty with the Afro stickers in the chat. Uh, we got Kyle Walters coming in with a gifted membership. Going to Watchdog 33. Watchdog just went to bed. I don't know if he saw that or not, but Watchdog, if you're still listening, you just got a gifted sub from Kyle Walters. Very nice. We also got Joshua Holdman becoming a brand new Jack Whacker at level one. Thank you, Joshua Holdman. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate that. So two brand new uh, members, Watchdog with the resub from Kyle and then Joshua becoming an official Jack Whacker. Uh, welcome, welcome. What's up, Donald Snodgrass? Uh, hello, hello. We got Aurelian the Dark One Farm Sim Gaming. Whoa, you changed your name. That's a lot of words. Uh, I never know what they meant by that, but now I know. What are we talking about? All right, time to paint. So I'm going to go with dirt. I'm going to do, uh, we'll start with square. And that'll be my, actually, we'll, we'll do the circle. All right. I'm going to make that a little island there. I got a sneeze, chat. I can feel it. Oh, it's a big one. I can feel it on the tip of my nose. It's going to be a doozy. All right, now we'll switch back to the round brush. We'll shrink it down a little bit. We're going to do, let's see, where's the water at? It's on the left side. So we'll make our dirt path be on the left side. See what that looks up. Zoomed up. Nice. That's what I was going for. Alright, we'll get this looking a little war down over here. And I'm gonna wanna kinda be able to get close. And then just kinda, you know, circle around and do a lap down here where the water's on this side. go and then our final spot for water would be right over here you could even have it split off this path and just kind of go right up against the tree just trying to give it that rugged look all right and we'll round this off kind of connect the three And we can have it be a little wrap around dirt driveway through here. Go. Switch back to square, shrink her down. And everything else looks pretty nice. Fill in the grass spots here. A little more pleasing to the eye. All right, then we'll get some uh, decorations going a little bit. go very nice very nice then we'll also put a little uh fence in i like putting in my fences 
Let's go this time. Let's do, uh... Let's do let's, like an old beat up looking fence. I try to do something different in, on, on each 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 uh, production. I gotta keep in mind we have a big truck. I don't want to completely lock ourselves in. A little more painting here. Widen out our path onto the road there. Nice. There we go. I'm fine with that. Beautiful. It's just downright beautiful, isn't it? Makes corn kind of tingle inside, doesn't it? It's nice. Let's go back to painting. I do want it to be a little more worn down where you would pick up the water. There we go. Right up against the tree. Nice! What you think about that, Lottie? Uh, what's up, DJ Wells? How much does this game cost and what console is it on? It's on everything. I play on the PC version, and it's a little pricey. It's still expensive. I don't know what the prices are on console. Uh, let's put... That's not the same fence, is it? There it is. Let's put just a little decorative chunk right here oh yeah that's really nice isn't it it's nice I like that there you go make it a little messy there from all the deliveries yes yes all right decorations I, I need a little bit of light Let's uh, let's put some scooty pooty uh, wooden lights here. Put one there, there. Kind of light up that area. Then we'll put one right here. There we go. Put a trash bin out here. What else we got? We're not going to get too crazy on decorations this time. It is what it is. You can see it. American style speed bump. Yeah! We'll put a speed bump in. We don't want people flying in there and smacking my trees. There you go. Speed bump coming in. Speed bump coming out. <laughs> it was this free on the... Was it? I need to work on my decorating skills for my little town and my survival series. It's fun. I love... That's some of my favorite favorite things to do in farm sim is uh, the painting. Decorating. I can already tell that big Peterbilt's going to be taking a lot wider turns than this. I'm just going to make it look like it's already made wide turns through here. There we go. Alright chat, what do you think? We have a new production. So with our leftover money, like I said, we're gonna have to. Oh no 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 no! This happened last time, didn't it? Crap! Don't crash! Don't crash! Don't crash. Let's give it a second, chat. Let's let let's let the game breathe. Oh, I feel like it's gonna crash on us. We're gonna give it a moment. Everybody, everybody, just 
just relax for a minute. Everybody meditate. Everybody think about the screen unfreezing and everything going as normal. Everybody imagine that. Picture that in your brain right now. That everything's going to be okay. Everything is not okay. We're going to give it a little more time. So, let's talk about the weather. How's the weather out there, chat? Beautiful day in South Carolina. We had a, I'd say, mid-70s with sunny, little cloud, no rain. Very nice, cool breeze. Delightful day in the southern regions of the United States of America. Uh, hello, slow rolling underscore trucker. Hello. Uh, with the coffee, this happened. Uh, someone thinks he Chevy chases Caddyshack. Huh? Think happy thoughts. Breathe and relax and chill. Love the music. There you go. Yep, the music will get us through this moment. I'm still, I'm still waiting. Won't let me uh, exit out of the screen. I'm waiting. Record here in Alabama. Very nice. Oh, come on. Don't crash on me now. Oh! <laughs> it is a very nice menu screen, Sean. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, it's it's not letting me do anything. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be painful. Ah. But it's weird because... Usually when something was wrong, it'll say on my task manager that the game is not responding, which it's not saying. So that's good news. So it still recognizes the game is still running. It's just not running. <laughs> yeah, man, it's just not doing it, right? So I'm gonna have to force end it, I guess, because it's it's not working. Hang it. Dang it! Alright, end task. You're gonna see a black screen pop up here in a little bit. We're gonna have to relaunch the game and hopefully everything was good. I don't know if it will be or not. And that happened last time. Why did I put it in the same spot I tried to put that coffee thing? I feel like it's something with that straw processing mod. I feel like if I put something too close to that, that's the reason. Ugh, painful. All right, let's uh, get a relaunched here. Mm. It's not the production's buggy. No, that's not it. I think it's the straw production because the same thing happened with the coffee production. Yeah, I don't think it's the production. All right, dang it. Takes, it takes a little bit to load because I, I have a lot of mods. I had to delete the fertilizer production mod that did the same thing. I think I, I really think it's because I'm putting a production too close to another modded production. I really think that's what the problem is. I think maybe they need to be a little further apart from each other or something. Because we didn't have any issues with the putting down the dairy on the last episode, but the dairy's a little further down the road from the straw processing. Ah, we'll see how much of it it's saved. If it's all if it's all gone, then uh, we'll put it in a different spot. <laughs> all right, we're at 75%, we're almost there. Loading screen simulator. I apologize, chat. Things like this happen. They just happen. There's nothing you can do about it. Just gotta, just gotta keep going. Everything's gonna be okay. All right. Let's see how much uh, behind we are. Oh. This isn't good, chat. Twenty-six grand. Oh, son of a big old nipple eater. Oh my gosh. It didn't it didn't remember all the stuff we picked up and sold. Yuck. Oh my goodness. 
Ah, uh, all right. Um, mm. that sucks. But that's okay. Uh, let's forget about all that for now, and let's. Mm. Where's my tanker truck? Okay, so it left off right here where we emptied our slurry. So that got delivered. That's good. Whew. All right. Not too bad. It's not that great, but oh well. Uh, thanks, WD. You're not the only one that game crashed on. Yeah, dang it. All right. That's all right. So it's leaving off from when we delivered the slurry. And now that we know how much the digestate is not worth, we're not going to waste our time loading it up because there wasn't much and it didn't give us much. So we'll forget about that. Uh, unfortunately, we do have to load up all the other stuff and sell it. But I am going to hold off on the production and we're going to get to harvesting the canola. Because I don't, I don't want to go through all that again and then the game crash again. I think we'll use this piece of land right over here. We're going to keep it away from those other productions. So when we do sell everything, I think I'll try putting that apple factory like over in that area. I think that'll be a better idea. You know what I mean? This crappy weather made you sick. Really? <clears throat> Give it CPR. It was about to. Let's get it back running if we can. We got it back running, Ian. Couple hiccups, but we'll be all right. I told you, nothing's going to make me upset tonight. It's too, too good of a day. I won't let a broken uh, apple factory. I don't think it's the apple factory. I really think it's placing it too close. We'll try it later. We'll give it a shot later. All that decorating for nothing, dang it. That turned out pretty good, too. That looked like a nice little vineyard we had set up. And since I restarted the game, my wheel is acting up. Reset that. And still messed up. Logitech. We need to cut these two trees down at some point so I don't have to keep jacking up this every time I drive through here. <laughs> it's not enough room to swing that turn. Oh, come on. Come on, Frosty! Learn how to drive a big truck. Right. Uh, that's a partial, partial pallet. We don't want that. There we go. Yeah, your nana 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 comment that Chevy chases character in Caddyshack when he makes a put a clops the ball even if he miss. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I was like, what are you talking about? I didn't know what you meant. But yeah, that canola field's calling my name, chat. I'm ready to ready to hit the harvester here soon. So now we got to pick up the straw products, hit the sawmill twice, and that'll get everything sold again. Then I'm going to do a hard save, so I don't have to do all that again if the game crashes. Maybe we will go ahead and just rebuild the production. I just want to see if it doesn't crash the second time around. 
And you know what? How, what we can do is not decorate everything. Just plop down the actual production and try to activate it and see if it does it again. You know what I mean? We'll get her figured out. Alright, off to the sawmill. Uh, we got Kevin Flores jumping in $20. Save the chat. This is Frosty. We missed your streams. Is the house starting to look festive for Thanksgiving? Not really. A little bit. Uh, when was the last time you had seafood for dinner? Seafood for dinner. Last week, I think we had some salmon. Yeah, we had salmon last week. My son loves salmon. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it was good. It was all right. Yeah, last week. Uh, don't be frustrated. We're still enjoying your company. Oh, I'm not. I told you. I can't. My day cannot be ruined today. I had a very good day, so nothing can frustrate me. The game could crash three more times, and I'll still be. Uh, I'll still be in a good mood. All right, top right corner. You already know how much we're gonna make, chat. We're gonna make about 120 grand out of two deliveries because this already happened. Deja vu. Already happened. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, buddy. Ross, are you gonna stream the new Call of Duty? Not on this channel, Tony, but I'll be on my Pew Pew channel with that. Yes, sir. Uh, Bailing hay on the Texas map. Oh, what a nice. All right, just like last time, about 66 grand. Now I just got to go get the leftovers, and that'll put us at uh, about 120 grand. Uh, thank you very much, Kevin, for the super chat. All right, let's get pulled up in here. Load all this up. Couple more planks. This feels exact. This is like a complete repeat of about 40 minutes ago. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry that happened. <clears throat> all right, so sell this. Hard save, so I don't have to go through all this part again, at least. Yep, 123 grand, right about where we were. All right. <laughs> then we gotta preload the honey. Because we're going to... Well, you know what? I'm not even going to preload the honey yet. Because I don't even know if it's going to work. Alright. Hard save. Go in here. Save game. So at least if things go bad, we're going to be able to leave off right where we're at here. And like I said, this time we'll build down here. Out of the way from uh, those other productions. And we're not going to waste any time decorating. I'm going to just plop it down and see if it makes the game crash. So we're looking for Apple Tree with Factory Mod. So I'm thinking kind of like before, right about here, I guess. Like, we're not even going to waste time. Watch this. This will determine if the game's going to crash. Or part of me doesn't even want to do it that way. I wonder if that's what's doing it, by doing it this way. What if I just go into the menu and go to productions? And there it is. 
I wonder, chat. I wonder if by clicking here and hitting open production menu, because I'm using revamp, not revamp. I forget what it's called. I wonder if that's what's causing the issue. So instead of opening it manually through there, I'm only doing it through the menus and the game didn't crash. Apple juice and apple honey juice. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in business. All right. Now we do have to decorate again, but you know what? Maybe I'll do it different this time. I don't know. What's up, EY Blue Dragon? So I need a bunch of Bob Ross stickers in the chat again. I apologize. I'm sorry we got to do it all over again. I'm sorry. But I do need some Bob Ross love. Uh, so get those stickers in here. And let's get this done. Actually, let's get the uh, trees put in. Uh, this time I got some more room to work with, too. Uh, let's see. That's a nice chunk of land. 1500 bucks a tree. I still like the way I had it. Well, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe I'll put one here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. yeah. We're going to go with eight trees for now. We'll bump it up if we have to in the future, but we'll start with eight. That seems like plenty. And then I'm going to do the road a little different this time. I'm just going to make a nice path that cuts through here. Water's on the left side. All right, so there's our driveway. Another turn around over here. There you go. There's that part. Uh, how do you harvest the apples? You add water and then it spawns a pallet of apples, like a crate full of apples. So we'll have to fill all these trees with water to uh, help the apples grow. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, that's right, yeah. that right about there. All right, so that's kind of fenced in, looking nice and fancy. Yeah, but the pallets will spawn right under the tree, actually. So we got some decorations, you know, blah, 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 yibbity, yibbity. And then we got uh, 
Get this stuff looking decent over here. We can do this like a gravel dust. Should match the road. That match the road there. Slightly, yeah. Pretty much looks like it, yeah. Now we don't need to make a wraparound. It's just uh factory. Uh, nasty looking bushes. You like that? You need a picnic table in the middle of their trees. Maybe a campfire too. I knew the other one looked good to be true. A uh, happy little tree. How do you harvest the apples? How should you put one by the straw factory and test that theory? Yeah. I, th I, th yeah. I don't know. You're right though. All right, let's finish uh, doing this though. So that's all set up. Pallets are there, blah, blah, blah. Let's get more of a privacy type fence on this one. Got that. Decorations, lights. Let's get some lights right here. The light here. All right. Probably should put a mailbox. Huh? Got to put my mail delivery. What's up, Rabbit Rob? Hello, sir. Parking spot for employees. Yes. I do like that. I could put that right here, actually. That would look nice right there. Or maybe in the front. I have a little obstacle course for when I have to pick things up. Nah. Better be safe and put them, like, right here. Yeah. That'll look nice. Good idea. What's up, Rabbit? Celebrating 14 months. Says, what's up, Jack Whack? What's up, Daddy? There's a honk of for you. Come on. Bring her on home. What's going on, man? I'm just making myself a uh, apple production factory thingamajiggy. <clears throat> Stick a flag out by the yard. Why not? Ah, you know what? I forgot to level out the uh, ground for our parking spots. Yeah, so those are all going to be crooked. Dang it. Uh, let's level. All right, decorations. Oh, don't make me go through all that again. Chase! There it is. Then we'll throw down a couple cars. $5,500. Jeez. There we go. A couple employees there for you. What else can we shove in there? That's pretty good. Couple obstacles there. Nice. All right, so we got that. I do need to make this look a little better here, like an entryway. Throw that like right there. There's a enter exit area. Yeah, maybe nice. It looks quite lovely, doesn't it? 
Uh, and don't forget the dumpster. Yeah, gotta have a dumpster. And I do like uh, Kevin's picnic table idea. It's not a bad idea. If I can find the stinking uh, picnic table. Oh, there's another campfire. That would look nice. A little campfire in there. Shove this we'll swing with some random decorations. Big dumpster out here. It's so hard to find the picnic table. I always pass it. Mailbox and a dumpster. I got the big red dumpster. That'll be good. Just trying to find that picnic table. Oh, we're close. We're close. It's right in here somewhere. There it is. Put a couple. Some nice, uh, nice little park area. Ooh, better change the way that looks. There we go. Good enough for me, huh? Good enough for me? Good enough for you, maybe? We need to let people have a way to get out of there. Or they're trapped in there forever. So we got that, we got that. We'll throw a little mailbox in there. If it doesn't take me 20 minutes to find it in my mess of decorations. Mailbox, mailbox, mailbox. Where the heck's the mailbox at? Come on. Oh my goodness, chat. Put a trailer there for decorations. Make it look like it's a uh, unloading zone or something. Yeah, yeah, looks cool. Chat, I can't find the stinking mailbox. I don't know where it is. Carry it away now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mailbox. Holy smokes. All right, can I change color? Yes, I can. Let's do... A yellow mailbox. There we go. We'll put the mailbox out by the employee parking. Alright, mailbox, dumpster. We're good. We're good to go, chat. We got ourselves a factory. <clears throat> so now we need to get the honey put over there and fill it up with some water. Not sure how much water it takes. So we'll just fill the tanker up with some water and go from there. Honey, water, and we'll purchase sugar with our last 18 grand we got in the bank. That's the one thing we will have to invest in is the sugar because I'm not doing sugar cane and we're not in the season to even plant sugar beets. So we'll just have to purchase sugar. And then we can finally 
get harvesting some canola. We got set back. If you're just tuning in, we had a huge setback. The game crashed. I had to rebuild the whole factory. It was a whole mess. So we're a little behind on schedule of what I should be doing right now. There we go. Save the game. There we go. Game saved. Good call. Lights for the parking area. Ah, uh, the parking area? I, I already put lights in the uh, factory. Yeah, I need to save money. We gotta have money for sugar. So we're done decorating. Decorations are done, okay? No more. I ain't got no more money to do it, mate. Should be a bad idea if I did it. Uh, this farm came a long way compared to the way it looked when you first started. Oh yeah, all kinds of uh, fields and productions. And yeah, it's, it's come a long way, mate. Oh, I love the whistling on this Peterbilt. Constantly whistling. All right, we're coming up on our new production over the bridge across the river. Check this out, chat. This is our new apple factory. It makes apple juice and honey apple flavored juice, I guess. So the delivery zone is another interesting thing see how I set this up. <laughs> oh, man. Gonna be rough. Yeah, it's gonna be rough, especially with it all sitting in the front end. Ugh. It's like real life. Like people, people build factories and they don't think about the big truck that has to get in there. They figure out after the fact. They're like, oh, I guess that's not gonna work too good for that big truck driver there, poor guy. Oh well, he'll figure it out. Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna have to like 90 degree angle back this thing in so it'll catch the uh, honey <laughs> there she goes all right there we go that'll have to be the way it's done so we got the honey in there all right so honey is in now we're gonna need to get water put into each apple tree we're gonna bur pur yeah. purchase as much sugar as we can afford Until we run out of money which would be right about here so we are out of money we were able to buy 16,000 liters of sugar so we got sugar we got honey now we need to hook up to the water trailer and get all the trees topped off with water why do you have a European trailer because uh, we were having issues with some of the other trailers, so I just went ahead and got one that I knew would work good. Uh, what's up, Mandy McKinley? How's it going, Mandy? Drop that there. Hook up to the tanker. Yeah, I was having trouble finding a good uh, universal trailer that was American spec. We tried a couple. Big Bubba didn't do all the different pallets. And then uh, I could have got the step deck. But uh, I think that one was cheaper, so I just went with the more affordable one since we're doing survival series. I think it was like 40-something, 40, 40 grand for that trailer. So it was more of a financial decision, too. Oh, I need water, don't I? Not sure how much each tree requires. So we'll just kind of figure that out as we go. So I'm just going to load this thing up. Get a bunch of water in there. Let's 
gonna take a minute while that's filling up let's double check our animals good chickens are good they're running a little low but we don't have anything to feed them until we get some wheat or barley ready to harvest and then the cows we topped them off earlier and we delivered the slurry we're good to go mike look at all these apple trees okay they they need twenty thousand each 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60. I need 160,000 liters of water. Luckily, water is free. Water is free. And I like that. What's up, BMW? You're going to have to get a straight truck for that pickup. I know. It's a little tight in there, huh? It'll be all right. It'll be all right. This is taking all day to load. While that loads, let's get the harvester uh, fired up and ready to roll. Because that'll be the next thing on the agenda. We've only done one harvest with this new harvester we got. Let's see if we can sneak through here without smacking the wall. Ah, dang it. All right, that ain't gonna work. All right, so we have to move this. This needs moved out here for now. There we go. About to get her done, chat. And if I remember correctly, I think this is the harvester where the header was giving us some issues. It took a while to get going, but eventually it was fine. All right, trailer is almost full, so we will not get you guys too excited about harvesting. Just wanted to make sure she was ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Let her warm up. And we got a full load of water. So we'll have to make two trips of water. We'll get the harvesting started when we come back for the refill. <clears throat> this will do half the trees. I want that chicken barn. You want that? It's nice. It's on the mod hub. It's under the red barn, uh, like a pack of buildings, the red barn pack. It's inside that mod pack, and that is on the uh, mod hub, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson. What's up, Dave Fowler? Hello, Davey. Davey Crockett. Ian W. with the nine months is frosty. Keep up the great work, and I love your streams and your other channel. Well, thank you very much. And there will be content on the other channel this weekend with the uh, release of the new Call of Duty, for, for sure. So be ready for that. It will be happening, okay? All right, so let's uh, fill up our little water trees. Top right or bottom right corner shows you the water being unloaded from the trailer. There you go. Tree number one is ready to rock and roll. And while these fill, we'll get them all activated. Activate, activate, activate. And to save ourselves from constantly running apples back and forth, it's probably going to be smart to just um, change the output to distributing. That's going to send it right over to where it's going to make the juice. So that just, just makes more sense. 
So I'm gonna get those all set to distributing. And that'll save us. All that unneeded running around later down the road. Distributing. And final one. Distributing. All right, so I got those all ready to rock and roll. Now we'll scoot up to the next tray. And it'll automatically send all the apples to the uh, factory right next to it and save us a headache. All right, so it's going to fill this one up about halfway. Look at that land. Look at that architecture. Is that what? Is that the proper word? The architecture, the engineering behind this design. I had it in mind with this big truck to be able to swing this turn with no problems. Look at that, chat. See that? My internal blueprints were on point. I tell you what. I tell you what. Pretty good. Not bad. starting to look like a, a darn designed map. We got so much going on now. It's starting to get pretty busy up in here. All right, so we'll let this thing fill up. It takes a little while. We'll get the harvester rolling and start doing the canola. Chat, did I sell the Ford truck, the old truck, or did we? Oh, we still have it. Okay, we still have the old Ford uh, dump truck. I was like, how the heck am I going to get the, uh, the canola delivered? I thought we sold it. I guess we didn't. All right, so that's going to fill for a while. Let's get harvesting. I need some harvesting stickers in the chat. Elizabeth was the only one that put it down. Come on, everybody. It's harvesting time, see? I got my John Deere. I got my tractor supply company T-shirt on. I'm ready to do some harvesting. Come on. Get her done. I uh, gotta unfold the header, activate, unfold the harvester. Not much to remember. And she takes a minute to get going, but we're going. We're going. straw is not available with this crop. I couldn't remember if it was or not on this map. Some maps you can. And there is a mod for it, but I don't have it activated. So we will not get straw from this canola harvest. But we're going to convert all this canola is going to go to the grain oil mill and make oil pallets. So we'll make a good chunk of money off of oil in the future. Canola oil. Yeah. It's harvesting time. Good size field, too. She should uh, fill up pretty fast. Get her done. I'm get her done. Come on. Get her done. Ooh, low clearance. Are we going to get stuck on that branch, or are we going to be all right? Now we are good. Anybody else ever ducked their head, like, while they're playing Farm Sim or any video game? Do you, does your body get into the game? I do. I, I don't mean to. It just happens. Like, if there's a branch, I, like, I find myself trying not to bump my head on it. Is, is that me? Am I the only one that does that? Probably. I'm the only weird one that does that. Or when I play Call of Duty, like I'll, I'll flinch when I'm playing sometimes. I'll flinch thinking that I'm going to dodge a bullet or something. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work. Let's 
Let's try straightening that out. You do that, Ice Dragon? All right, so I'm not the only crazy one. All right, that's all I needed to know. Making sure I wasn't the only one. <laughs> uh, Tony Martig coming in with the 20 bomb. This is Frosty. Were you a troublemaker in school? I was not the troublemaker. I was the trouble finisher, Tony. I was always taught, thank you. If someone starts something with you, you finish it. That's how mom and daddy told me to take care of things. They said, we don't care what the principal or the teacher says. If someone starts something, you finish it. And that's, that's kind of how I did things. But no, I didn't go out looking for trouble or messing with people trying to push buttons. No, I kind of kept to myself and just, you know, tried to do things properly the best I could. Uh, thank you so much, buddy. He says, did you ever go to any of your reunions? No. No, they're too far away. They're in Ohio. I'm in South Carolina, so no. Are you still friends with anyone that you went to school with? Uh, I mean, if I come across them, of course I'll chat with them, but not like good friends, no. It was an odd... Like, when you relocate... You, you miss out on a lot of things from your old neighborhood, if that makes sense. Like, you just, you kind of disconnect in a way. But there's there's a handful of people I'll still uh, message here and there, see how life's going, and make sure they're doing all right, you know. Did you ever have a crush on a teacher? <laughs> more, than a, more than a few. Yes, sir. Every kid has a crush on them. At least one teacher. Yeah, I had a couple crushes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True story. The one was old, too. But I didn't care. I didn't care. She was awesome. Even though she was old, she was awesome. What's up, Captain Van Iver? Van? I'll just call you Captain. How's it going, Captain? I uh, plant soybeans and corn on Texas, Matt. Big acres. Come on. Get her done. I like the sound of that. Never mind. We've got turned around here, so the pipe's on the outside. There we go. Uh, Frosty looking around to make sure his wife... Uh, yeah, she's downstairs. She might be asleep. Yeah, there's a couple teachers that I uh, enjoyed being in the presence of. Thank you, Tony, for the 20 bomb. I appreciate you, buddy. I really do. Thank you for the support, sir. Hopefully you don't start acting like you actually got shot, and then we may have issues <laughs> on Call of Duty. Yeah. Yeah, we're all guilty of that, I think. You get it, you get too in, into the game. Just like farming, I get too into it. I feel like I'm really there sometimes. All right, we are almost at a full grain tank. Let's get that pipe open. And that's full load right there, Papa. 11,818 liters of canola. And our water trailer is filled so we're going to multitask. Let's go get this delivered. And then our water situation should be done. And then we'll get our first load of canola out of the uh, harvester. Whew, she is lugging with that full load of water. When did you meet your wife and how? work. We both worked at the same place a long time ago. She was 16 and I was 18. And we both worked at the same restaurant. Been together ever since. What's up, Captain? Hello again. I said hello earlier. I just said hi. You said hi again. Hi. How many times do you want me to say hi? Jeez. 
All right, water, water. So we did the first three trees. The fourth tree needs topped off, and then we'll work on the other side. Ooh, break check. Ow! Oh, look at the apples hanging from the tree. They look delicious. Like a little Granny Smith apple right there. If you're just tuning in, chat, this is my survival series on the Western Wilds, episode 14. We put in another brand new production tonight. We're making apple juice and apple honey flavored juice. That is our newest addition to the series. And uh, I don't know how profitable it's going to be. I'm hoping it'll be pretty good. Once we get this tree filled... I'll take a look at the menu and see what the prices are like for the juices. All right, so let's say we did have some and we were ready to sell it. What are the prices like? Uh, apple juice, sell everything, $2,375. Let's see the price fluctuation. Top selling price for a I'm thinking it goes by a thousand liters each is twenty four hundred sixty seven dollars for the apple juice. Apple honey is twice that. Apple honey is five thousand dollars per thousand liters. I think that's some good money right there. I think we're in the right business. We're then the apple juice business chat. That's pretty good money right there. Can you give me a shout out? I did like twice, so I, I don't know. Third time, does that make your nipples get firm? Uh, hello, Captain Ban of something, banana, for the third time. Hello. There you go. Now your nipples are all happy and excited about the night and you can go on with your life very excited. There you go. <laughs> I never understood the whole shout out thing. Anybody understand that? I've never understood. Like, I've never, ever in my entire life, ever asked someone for a shout out in a stream. I don't understand. What, what's that all about? Like, what is that? I've been streaming for four years and I still don't understand what the point of that is. Shout out. Does that does that only do something for the that one person? Does it do anything for anybody else? Does that excite anybody to have a shout out? I just, I'm just asking. I'm truthfully asking. Like, what's, what's the science? What's the point behind that? Because I don't get it. Never have understood it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hop into my Ford trip that we got used for like 14 grand. This truck was a steal. Look how beautiful it is. I mean, that is a gorgeous truck. It's very nice. It's got 63% damage. <laughs> But it runs. It still runs. That's what matters. The horn works. Uh, the, it holds grain. Like, the grain doesn't leak out of the bed. Like, it, it gets the job done. That was a good uh, investment right there. All right, harvester must have shut off. We were gone too long. Yep. Uh, they just want to know that they are. They just want to be seen. I got gotcha. you. I got Mr. Wilson. Thank you, says Noah. Bottled milk is a good money maker production. Bottled milk. I seen that one. Yeah, I seen that one. Brent Lindemann. Hello, Mr. Farsling. I would like to slap him right off. Yes. I have a Granny Smith. That's my mom's mom. Oh, really? Like really? Her name's Granny Smith. That'd be awesome if my granny was really last name was Smith. Granny Smith. Ah, uh, that's the best. You could make a lot of uh, memories with that for Christmas, holidays. Just buy her a Granny Smith apple every year. Uh, Fords are good long as they're maintained. That's right. You got that right, Daddy. All right, we are completely empty. Let's get back to harvesting. Pipes in. Let's roll. Nice harvest going on here. <clears throat> so 
So that final apple tree is going to need topped off with water, and then they'll all be full. So we'll be able to uh, get that production up and running, activated, ready to do its thing. You know it. That's right. So the bottled milk mod, is that all it is? It just, is it the same ingredients, just milk? What other, is there anything else to it or is it just bringing your milk to the factory? I, I took a peek at it, but I didn't read the description. It just looked like, it's like bottled milk, milk, dairy mill. I was like, why don't I just take my milk to the dairy mill, make butter and cheese? Yeah, we're down to 6800. I told you we'd spend it all, Tony. We had 123 grand at one point after we sold all our products. And now we're poor again. But we built that production. That was 75 grand. Then each tree, we bought eight trees at $1,500 a piece. And then we bought like 16 grand worth of sugar. So, oh, you can make different flavors and stuff. Gotcha. So you can probably add strawberry, strawberry milk, chocolate milk. I gotcha. So flavored bottled milk. Gotcha. The yield on this field was anywhere between 99 and 110 percent, I think. I think we ran out of lime, so we weren't able to completely cover it in lime. But other than that, pretty good. Um, pretty good yield. quite smooth, if I say so myself. It's nice. Where is everyone? They're right there in the chat. 239 of them. I haven't asked, I have not asked one of you to hit that like button tonight. So if you may have forgotten or you just didn't want to, but now you're like, maybe I will, uh, do it. It's a lot of fun. It's prob It's very exciting. When you hit that like button, it just shoots a an ounce of joy through your bloodstream. Like, you can feel it. You can feel the excitement. So don't let it get away. Don't let that exciting moment in your life that could happen any second, don't let it slip away, Chad. Hit the like button and feel that joy. Feel it. Feel it! All right, we're going to take a time out. I got to get that water. I got to get that final tree topped off so I can get that out of my mind and know that everything's been taken care of at my little apple factory. I gotta know it's good to go. All right. I will not sleep until I know it's filled with water. I need to get myself a PC or a laptop. Frosty, you can hire me as your driver. What, are you saying I don't know how to drive, huh? I thought I was doing all right. Uh, that was the first thing I did. So thank you, Anthony. Yeah, what do we... We got over 200 reactions. You guys are doing excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's really nice of you. So final delivery water. Then we'll be bringing all the canola over to that grain mill behind us. And it'll start turning all the canola into canola oil, into pallets, little bottles for cooking. So you can make some delicious uh, baked goods with your canola oil. All right, I already activated all the trees. They're all set to distribute. And that should top this off. And since there's already water in the trailer, we're just going to leave the truck parked right here at the orchard. And we're good to go. 
Let's just take a little double check, make sure I got everything looking right. Here's each apple tree full of 20,000 liters of water, distributing apples straight to... Wow. Dang! That used that much water already? Where's that guy at? I need to fill him up more. Let's tag wherever he's at. And then uh, we'll activate both of these. Yeah, it's distributing water. Oh, I got to put water into the actual factory too. I didn't know that. Okay. So we have to put water in the actual factory as well. That's a lot of stinking water. Uh, let's get both of these activated though. And apparently I did not top off this tree we're parked next to. So we'll top that off and put the remaining water in the actual factory. I didn't realize the factory needed water too. Dang. That is a crap load of water. Altogether, that's like 260,000 liters of water for eight trees and the factory. That's a lot of water, mine. Uh, Dustin Larson has just become a brand new Jack Whacker. Dustin Larson, get your butt down here. Welcome to Jack Whacker level one, daddy. Come on down. You got that cracked egg? So he resubmitted his uh, Jack Whackery. He was already a Jack Whacker, but and, uh, decided to rejoin. And now he's got the cracked egg. Thank you, Dustin Larson. Appreciate you, daddy. Uh, we also got Hunter Julian. He's already sent one of these tonight for his first ever Super Chat earlier. He sent a 50 bomb. And now he's back with another $50 Super Chat. Two in one night. Massive, massive Super Chats from Hunter Julian. Just got to head out, Frosty. Got to set a house tomorrow morning. Uh, love your streams. Hopefully I catch the next one. Hunter, I can't say thank you enough for that uh, that massive support. His first ever Super Chats, and both of them were nuclear bombs of support. So uh, thank you so much, Hunter, and uh, have a great one. And I hope you do come back to enjoy more content. And hopefully we got some other people watching. Maybe it is your first time here. Um, would love to see you hang out more often. I don't play just Farming Simulator for those that are new. Uh, I've been getting back into playing a variety of stuff. It keeps me sane, and I, I just like simulation games, always have. Uh, tomorrow is another early release game that we're going to be playing for the first time ever. And uh, make sure you tune in around 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow night. Brand new game. Developers sent me an early copy. Uh, so I'm excited to play it. Make sure you tune in for that. Thank you, Nathan Sanderson. Good night, Hunter. Have a good one, sir. Uh, Corey says, supposed to be rainy, cold, and possible first snow of the year in the capital. I hope you and your family stay warm. I know you're in South Kalahakian. It's been very nice. Uh, it's been nice, beautiful weather lately. I love the fall in South Carolina. It's not like blistering hot. It's, it's quite nice. All right, I just topped that off. I didn't top it off, but we got a lot of water in there. We could probably bring more to it later. We're looking good, man. We got honey, not much, but we got honey, apples. I think we'll be distributed after one hour, I think is how it works. Let's fast forward time. Top right corner, we're at 1010. Let's just fast forward time to 1110. I just want to see, make sure that it is distributing properly. All right, perfect, beautiful. Look at that, the apples, 566 liters have been distributed. Just wanted to double check that it's working. We got blue lights, that means both are doing what they gotta do. We're making apple juice and apple honey. And I like that. All right. That's right. 
that's a cool little uh, production. That's on the Mod Hub if anybody wants to try that out. It's the Apple Apple Tree Factory, I think is what it's called. It came out like last week, I think, on the Mod Hub. So just remember, you got to place down the actual factory, which will be under the productions. And then you'll also have to go to the orchard tab when you're building, and you'll have to place down the trees. That's the only way you're going to get the apples to put into the actual factory. So just keep that in mind when you uh, download that mod. Fill that up with some water. And finish our canola harvest. Surprised the harvester didn't shut down on us. And off we go. Only got about two strips left and this field's done. Uh, how you doing and your family? Doing good. Doing good. Uh, Mr. Bone39, what's going on, sir? Are you looking forward to the new DLC? I am, Bradley. I'm excited to uh, start fresh on the new premium expansion map. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of new equipment. It's going to it's going to be fun to set that all up. And get that all ready to go. Don't listen to Captain, you jackwhacker. I called your name out like four times, and you're saying unlike. You little nipple eater. I had to smack your nipples right off right now, boy. You son of a biscuit. Uh, hey, Frosty, how are you? And that? They're doing good, Wes. Doing good, sir. Some of you weren't in here at the beginning of the stream. I don't think Kevin Flores, uh, Mr. Lewis, some of the uh, longtime viewers, if you came in a little late, for those of you that know my son plays basketball, and I was talking how JV didn't, didn't happen last week after tryouts, got an email today telling him to come to practice tonight for JV, which was awesome. Took him to practice. Well, I took him to practice. Miss Frosty had to pick him up from practice because I had to get my daughter from volleyball. But anyways, uh, when he came out of practice, he said, I'm officially on the uh, JV team. All right. Can you uh, ban Captain? I can already tell he's just a douchebag. So can you get rid of Captain moderators? He's just being a, being an idiot. Yeah, we don't need him here. I had, I had a feeling. I had a feeling he was a troll. Yeah, you can get rid of him, please. So, yeah, he's officially on the JV team. And, yeah, so things are going to be crazy for uh, the next few months. Practices every day almost. Uh, one to two games a week. Traveling because uh, some of the games are sometimes an hour or two hours away. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting for sure. Uh, nice to nice. Hope your son does. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Nah, I don't do. I don't. I don't mess with that stuff, Captain. It's stupid. That's a stupid joke. So I just. I don't even deal with it. You're either here to be here, or you're not. So I don't mess around with that crap. Been streaming four years. I don't need. I just don't deal with crap anymore. You either like it or you don't. And if you want to joke about it, then I guess that was your own fault, huh? Uh, what's up, Trout Feeder? What's going on, man? Thank you, Kevin. Uh, nice, bro. Hope your son does good. I'm I'm excited for him. He's he's super pumped. He's on cloud nine, so he's pretty excited. All right, so we're taking all this to the oil mill. Uh, good call, says Frank Jens. Yeah! Trout Feeder. I like that name. A Trout Feeder. That's my other son. My son's obsession is fishing. Basketball and fishing. He loves fishing. Fishing, fishing, fishing. That's all the kid does. Basketball and fishing. And I, I have to force him to get a shower in between those things every once in a while. He, he doesn't want to. You guys remember being 14? I ain't got no time for a shower. I ain't got no time for that. Nobody got time for that. All right, so this is the old grain mill mod, which is another awesome uh, mod. All right, my moderators must not be here. 
So I will do it myself. Uh, there you go. All right, he's gone. I don't got time for that crap. But uh, this is the old mill grain mill is on the Mod Hub chat. What I love about the old grain mill is it does grains and oils. So you can make flour, and you can also make sunflower oil, canola oil, and I think you can even make pig food mix. You can also make pig feed. So awesome mod. It's not expensive to put down on your properties, and it's pretty sweet. So I like it. All right, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to dump all the canola in there and make some canola oil. All right. Get her done, right there. Yeah, I love the old, uh, the old mill. So I think one of those mods with factories. I don't know if Scooter's Workbench is listening. I, I think, I think that's what the problem is. I think that's what's been making the game crash, Scooter. If you're still here, is when I go to click on that symbol. It can make the game crash, but if I just do it from the in-game menu, I don't seem to have any issues. So I'm going to do it that way from now on. Just go in here. Uh, we're going to go to our old grain mill. See, yeah, here's what it does. Wheat flour, barley flour. That's the other thing. You can make flour four different ways. You can make three different oils. You can do corn pig food, sorghum pig food potatoes so you can have three different recipes to make your pig food uh, but since we put in canola we're going to activate this one right here very nice and that was the entire harvest so it'll be pumping out canola oil pallets you're here yeah I, that's, I think that's what the problem might be scooter is when I click on uh, open up production from the wrench. That's when the game goes nuts. I haven't seen that. Plus, I always do it through the escape net. So that might, see? That might be, so you, yeah. You haven't come across it because you don't do it the way I was doing it. So that's what I'm thinking the problem is. I'm just going to do it through the escape menu from now on just to be safe. Uh, you can't make corn oil on that mod, but I have seen uh, maps that have made corn oil. Didn't uh, chat, didn't, um, crap. Tier three members. That Eastern North Carolina map. Didn't that make corn oil? Over on the top left of the map. Remember it had that corn factory? I swear, didn't it make corn oil? Yeah, Eastern North Carolina by Mac Trucker. I think that was the one. Uh, may I ask if there's any other map makers or modders in here? And it's hard to find down to Earth streamers, so I wanted to say thank you, says Mr. Uh, Bone39. I don't... If there's a map maker in here, I don't know there is. They haven't said hello if there's any map makers, but there are modders in here. Uh, we got Scooter's Workbench, Pleasant View Farms, uh, Simulation Station makes edits, uh, 82 Studios, he's stopped in and said hello before, FS Miner. Uh, they're not here all the time, but Scooter's usually here every day. Every day, almost the entire stream. But as far as map makers go, haven't seen any map makers in my chat. I've had comments by map makers because I I've I've played on so many maps. Uh, the the nicest map maker I've ever like seen in my comments is uh, the guy from Renabu. Forget his name. Os 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 I forget how you say his name. But the guy who made Renabu, which was a beautiful uh, map also. Wasn't that a Norwegian map? It's like in Norway, the Renabu. Yeah, he commented 
because we uh, streamed it. He was excited to see someone using his map. He seemed like a pretty nice guy. Are you serious? Mr. Are you being funny? Are you being funny? Are you really the guy who made Dark Forest? Is that the guy who made Dark Forest chat? Did you really make Dark Forest? Are you pulling my chain? I played the crap out of Dark Forest. Chat! Dark Forest is where we had our first ever survival series. We did 38 episodes of the Dark Forest survival. Are you really the uh, modder for that? Yes, sir, I made it. Well, howdy dowdy. Oh, I didn't realize we had more canola in here, chat. <laughs> I forgot the harvester was full. Dang it. All right, we got to whip the fort out again. I thought we got everything out in one load. Shanty boys. Yeah, I, I remember seeing that. I didn't remember seeing Mr. So you go by Shanty Boys as the modder. Huh? Okay. Love it. Love it. I don't know if you've caught any of that content, but I turned... Uh, if you look at the map, down by your sawmill at the bottom right, right above it where all the trees are, like a little north of that, that's where I put my farm and did all my forestry and created a survival farm. Yeah, that was a, that was a blast. That was a good map. Mr. T-Bone and the Shanty Boys. Well, come on down. It's a pleasure to have you here. Awesome map. Loved it. 38 episodes. Pretty all the OGs in the chat know the Dark Forest map. We, we stream that quite a bit. So this is my second ever survival series um, on the American, or the Western Wilds. A little different approach on this one because it's more open. So I was able to kind of get to plowing fields quicker, big, bigger fields. Um, the Dark Forest survival series was more small equipment, smaller fields, and it was fun though. I had a blast on it. All right, I didn't realize we had uh, another load of canola chat. That's a good thing. More money for oil. Love that series. I, I remember. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the sub, man. And thanks for the awesome map to the uh, community. I know a lot of people in here use that map also and created kind of their own survival. I mean, you have to. You're almost forced to do like a survival type of series on that map. It's all woods. So for people who love forestry, the dark forest is a good map. Yeah, trees everywhere. Well, that's even better. Now I got all kinds of stuff in here. Look at that. We almost topped it off with uh, canola. Beautiful. Very nice. That makes me happy. Get that closed. Get the harvester put away. Might be able to do a little bit of field prep on the uh, field we just harvested. Everything else is done as far as productions, sawmills. Um, pretty much loaded up with wood. We don't have to worry about that. Things are running smooth here. Working on another one right now. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, I'm excited for the uh, premium map to come out. I think my... The thing I'm ready for a chat for the new map is there's like a piano production. So you can bring products to make pianos or something like that. That's going to be interesting how that all works. And of course the new crops, carrots, parsnips, beets, like red beets or something weird. 
bunch of new equipment. Hey, Thanks for the sub. pipe in. Definitely got to spray this thing up. Randy Timmons, thank you for the uh, subscription. Subscribing to the channel, that's Randy Timmons. Come on down, laddie. It's a pleasure to have you. Chickens need a little feed. I don't have anything to feed them. They'll survive until uh, the next harvest. That's what I love about that productions mod that Scooter told me about. So when I go to my animals, it gives me their daily food intake, their yearly food intake. So the cows eat 52,000 liters a day. So I need to pretty much make sure they're always topped off. Uh, chickens only need 7,500 liters a day. So even though that's in the red, it looks scary. I got 20,000. They're still good for two and a half months before they need fed. And by then, I'll be ready to harvest uh, barley or wheat. So they'll, they'll survive with no problem. Sheep require 14,000 liters a day. That's why I left leftovers in the... Uh, forage wagon back there because I knew they'd run out of food eventually. <laughs> All right. We are going to use our mulcher. We're going to get that field mulched. I got $7,500 to my name. That should be enough to drop down some uh, lime and I might even have some leftover lime. Not sure. Plop that right in here for now. Yep, there's 4,800 liters of lime in there, so that's good. Yeah, we'll uh, mulch this field first. And then we'll drop the lime down. And I've been leaving my Peterbilt running for this whole time to take that final load of water to the plant. So let's take this over to the apple factory one last go. He's a martyr extraordinaire. Very nice. Yeah, I didn't recognize the T-Bone name. Uh, Shanty Boys is one of those names that you don't forget. So I did. For, I didn't realize T-Bone was one of the moderator or one of the uh, modders for that map. So I apologize. Didn't recognize the name. But uh, pretty awesome that you stopped by at the chat. I do appreciate it. They need a Tyson Chicken Factory. You'd be surprised how many different modded factories there are on like third third party websites. There's all kind Heinz ketchup, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, there's all kinds of stuff. Oreos, Chips Ahoy, Budweiser, Yingling, like all kinds of modded ones. They're, they're not all the best looking ones, but they're they're out there. I made this place way too tight, didn't I? <laughs> Did not make this uh, big truck friendly at all. Luckily, there's a hole in the fence. There's a hole in my pocket. My pocket. Ooh, I started watching a new show chat. It's called L Lupin. Lupin. He's like a French uh, robber. Rob. He does like heists and stuff. I only watched the first two episodes. Stinking good. It's in French language, but I don't mind that. I put the captions on, and it's awesome. I can't. I think it's called Lupin something. It's it's really good. Really good. First two episodes were awesome. So if anybody's looking for a good show to watch, it's very good. I got I got to figure out a better way to get in and out of here. <laughs> this is painful. I did 
did not make this easy, did I? There she goes. All right, get that water out of there. Nice. <laughs> I think there is a chicken meat factory out there. A chicken meat factory. Uh, thank you for streaming. I love streaming. I've been doing it for a while, huh? Do you need? Do you read any tractor or farm equipment books? Not really. <laughs> no. I can get my fill with uh, videos and stuff. I'm more of a video guy. I don't like reading. I hate reading. I'll read if I have to, but usually not a not a big reader. All right, cool. I'm just leaving that here for now. Topped off. Water is filled. Goodness. Over a quarter million liters of water to get that place running. Anything in the mail? Nope. So yeah, this stuff over here, next month, wheat will be ready to harvest on the next episode for sure. We'll have this field. And then I think this field might be ready next month. Yes, two massive wheat fields. <laughs> so we'll have a ton of straw coming in for the straw processing. Um, yeah, that'll be that'll be a busy one. And then a couple months before this is ready to cut. All right, let's get mulching. Let's do the mulching first. We'll fire up the case. connected to the slurry tank over here. There she is. You're right. Oh my gosh, chat. Can anybody think of what we forgot to sell tonight? We forgot to sell something that was on my stinking thumbnail for tonight's stream. And we didn't even go pick it up and sell it. It's on the thumbnail of tonight's show. It's part of the title of tonight's show. And I didn't even sell it. My gosh. I'm telling you, chat, my memory is, it's just, uh, excl exclamation mark discord. Yep. Oh, you found it? Nice. There is a mod that will take chickens in the processing plant. It'll be used on the dog forest. I I have... I, that's the one Scooter edited. I, I use that. I have it activated on this map. I haven't used any of it on this map. But yeah, the uh, meat processing plant. The gold! I got gold bars on my title and in the picture. And I forgot to go sell them. That's a lot of money's worth of gold sitting over there, too. Hang on. That was supposed to be, like, the, the main thing of the night was to sell the gold, and I forgot all about it. <laughs> Not surprised, and I'm sure you guys aren't surprised that I forgot. All right, let's get some mulching then. Does anybody remember? Joshua Hoffman, do you remember what the mulcher's for? What does the mulcher do? What is the purpose of mulching? Oh, boy. Mulching, believe it or not, gives you a 2% bonus on your yield if you do it every time after a harvest. Mulch, cultivate, which I don't do. I mulch, and then I direct drill. Just keep in mind, you're going to get weeds if you don't plow. If you have weeds turned on, which I do. I like that for realism. Usually do a couple headlands, and then GPS back and forth for the rest of the uh, field. Air it. Blame it on the crash. Yeah, it's the crash's fault. It got me all flustered. Yeah, that's that's my excuse. 
That's why I forgot. You need a land doll? A land doll? <coughs> Can we go get the gold bars? Yeah, we'll get the gold bars. I want to do this first, though. We got to get this done. It won't, this won't take long. Once we get uh, GPS going, we'll be going back and forth. Be done in no time. This has got a pretty nice work width to it. Too bad Stevenson's missing out. I, like I said, he might be watching. He's a multitasker like me. He's very good at multitasking. So he may be listening, playing Euro Truck, and watching a race at the same time. Who knows? I don't know. And if anybody wondered where Steerman Gumby's been, he got a new job. That's why we don't really see him much anymore. He works in the middle of the night for uh, UPS, I believe. He got a job at UPS, working in the warehouse. And I think he said he gets up at like two in the morning to be to be at work by three or something. And so his schedule's all jacked up. That's why we don't see much of Gumby anymore. So for those of you that miss him like I do, that's that's where he's been. All right, we're gonna. Oh gosh, I have not used these the stuff in a long time. Oh crap. Control S, Alt S. Oh wow, Alt Z. Nope, I don't want that. Dang it, chat. I don't remember my keybinds. That's how long it's been since we played Farm Sim. <laughs> oh, dang it. I forgot. Let me see here. <sighs> GPS, GPS. Totally forgot some of the controls. There's so many keybinds on Farm Sim. Guidance steering. There we go. Uh, see? Huh? Guidance steering. Alt. Alt C. Alt R. Alt R? No. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Toggle line display. Alt L. Alt R. Ah. Uh -huh. Alt E, double tap. What are you doing, Lottie? There's that. All right, it wants to do diagonal lines. Whatever. That's fine. I was just trying to figure it out. Like, what is going on here? There we go. Whew, took a while. Alt C, then Alt E twice. Yeah, whew. It's been a while. There we go. It's gonna be a, a little messy looking for the first couple swipes, but. I got six kids, so I'm pretty good at multitasking too, says Anthony. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, you gotta learn how to be, right? Or you won't survive. There's gold in them there hills. Yes, there is. There we go. Very nice. There we go. There's another control that puts up the actual screen that I like to always look at. That's the one I couldn't... I don't know where it went. There's like a menu screen where I can actually see the width information, and I totally forget what the keybind was. But it's all good. It said Alt X for guidance steering. Yeah, that turns it on and off. I was looking, there's like a screen. It's not popping up though, John. I don't know why it's not popping up. It's 
weird. It used to always pop up. <clears throat> Show guide. Oh, control S. There it is. Control S. My bad. So control S. I just always like to look at this just to see the width 29. And I just know that it's set. Because sometimes certain mods, it'll it'll act up and not not do it right. So I like, I like to take a little peek there, right? Yeah. Now we're golden. Isn't that lovely. Thank you, Skater. Control S. I typically listen while watching FS22 or SnowRunner. Speaking of uh, those of you that like SnowRunner, which I hate it, but anybody see the new one? Uh, it's called Expedition, a SnowRunner game. Expeditions. Looks interesting. I don't know if there's even a release date, but uh, it's pretty much, you know, a sequel to SnowRunner. With a little different twist to some of the things to it. Looks cool. Expeditions, I think is what it's called. Thank you, Scooter. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. We got it all figured out, man. Yes. Lock on, drop it, and drag. And then we'll probably slap some... Uh... Yeah, I'll probably slap some lime on here. And I don't know if we need to worry about fertilizer quite yet. But all in all, it's a good harvest. Full. Snow Runner should be called How Long Till You Rage Quit. I've done that many times on that game. It, like, it's a good game, but it's a... Ugh. Whew. It's a, it's a painful game for me. It really gets the emotions brewing. I have a hard time uh, enjoying it. <laughs> and I've tried multiple times. But I'm sure I'll try out Expeditions when it comes out. Where's One Stack Mac? Did anybody see One Stack Mac in the chat tonight? I didn't see him. Wonder how he's doing. I still see him post a photo in Discord here and there. But I haven't seen him in the chat in a couple streams. That should be a wrap on the uh, mulching. Very nice, yes, no? Okay, you don't like it? I understand. All right, cool. Got that done. <clears throat> now we'll uh, go take a time out from this field and sell those gold bars. Because I know, I know deep down inside you want them gold bars right now. You know what? Let's take the pickup truck. We don't need a big truck to get three pallets. Uh, I can just throw them into the bed of the truck. Yes, sir. So we'll run down to the uh, biogas plant, which is right next to the gold factory, and load up some gold. I've been waiting on an ultimate hunting to release since 2021. Ultimate hunting. Never even heard of it. Huh. Ultimate hunting. Yeah, if I ever get the itch for hunting, I just play uh, Call of the Wild. That's probably the best hunting game out there. You gotta have a lot of patience, Tommy. You're not kidding. Patience is a must if you're uh, gonna play SnowRunner. <laughs> a lot of patience. I don't know. Some people find it therapeutic. Like intense gaming. Uh, Raging Yeti, 
Like, they play that game all the time. That's like a big part of their content is SnowRunner. And I don't, I don't know how they do it. They love it. They love it so much. I'm playing SnowRunner right now. Frosty can't get enough of it. Really? Oh, man. So, Mr. Rutledge is a very patient gentleman, right? Uh, we got Kevin Flores again, this time with a $10 super chat. Says, Frosty, are you going to email Farm Sim and let them know about the conflict with the way you placed that factory? Now, that's out of their hands. It's a, I was using mods, so they could care less. That's, that's not their problem. Are you happy to be back after four days? Yes. I wanted to be back yesterday if Farm Sim didn't crap on us. And do you ever miss your streaming community? Of course I do. Of course I do, Jack Whacker. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was not happy last night. Cause the Friday, Saturday, Sun Sunday night, I I got all the stuff prepped and ready. The game loaded fine, no issues. I was ready to rock and roll, made my thumbnail, made my post on Sunday night to let you know you know, you know how I usually do it. And then last night, I get everything ready to go and go live, and just nothing. Nothing worked. The game wouldn't load. The profile wouldn't load. And... But I'm glad that other people had the same issue, so it helped me know that it wasn't just me. And that it was something on the, the actual farm sim servers. like Not the servers. I don't know how to explain it. So Giants must be doing, like, background updates on the game that we don't see on Steam. That's been causing some uh, loading issues for a lot of people. Ooh, that's some heavy gold, chat. That truck almost looks like it's got a Carolina squat going there. Look at that. <laughs> that's heavy. All right. Nice. That is a heavy load of gold. All right, we're <laughs> thing is sagging and it's leaning. All right, let's find out where the gold's selling for the best price. Farmers Market Products, wherever that is. All right, that's down yonder. All right, we're gonna go for a little drive here. Sell me some gold. Got that Carolina squat going on my truck. Oh, yeah, she's struggling, too. <laughs> nice. You gonna pop them tires? I got the hand, I got the pedal to the metal chat. This is as fast as it'll go. Four pallets of gold. Maybe we should have brought the big truck over here. Oh. Come on! Come on! It's probably because it's a Chevy. Is that why it's going so slow? It's a Chevy? I love that truck, but I wish the fenders were complete. Uh, over in the Chad Hitch. You don't like them fenders, huh? The rear fenders, yeah, the rear fenders are uh, not finished. The front ones are. Front, missing the rear. You're not supposed to zoom in and look at the, the problem, Scooter, like I just did. Yeah, I, I, seriously, the pedals to the metal. This is as fast as the Chevy will go with this load on. It's gonna be a nice, relaxing ride over to the farmer's market. Good thing it's a Chevy, a Ford would have done broke. You think so? Would have done broke. Oh, chat, look at our new productions over here. Look how fancy. So I put in eight apple trees along with the uh, big factory where that big truck's at right now. And we make apple juice and honey flavored apple juice. So that's our newest thing we added tonight. This might be a lot of money sitting in the back of this truck. Gold is worth quite a bit on this map. So we're about to spike our economy. And that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna like that. Huh. It's, it's gonna take a while to get there, though. Still got a ways to go. 
Hey, Frosty. It's been a long time since I got a chance for a live show. Work gets in the way. It happens, Grant. Nice to see your name in the chat, though. Hope work's doing well for you. You just you just stop by whenever you're able, all right? I appreciate those of you that are busy and still stop in and say hello. Appreciate it. Had to cut the rust out of the... F yeah, you had to... It's, that's what happened, Scooter. They had to cut the rust out of the fenders. That's all. It's common on those old trucks. First thing that goes rusty is the bed. So you just gotta cut the rust out. Oh my goodness. And not, like, gain any momentum at all. Oh. Over to the left there. Is this a big wraparound? Yeah, I've never been down here to sell anything. There it is, giant. I think we just uh, take the straps off. And... Here goes all my gold. Top right corner. Top right corner, chat. Look at that money growing. Oh, it's doing it nice and slow, too. I like that. Suspension's rising. Weight's lifted. Oh, baby. Cha-ching. Oh, hit hit 100 grand. Ah, so close. $81,884, Chad. Just made 82 grand on four pallets of gold. I like that. I reckon that's a good deal right there. I reckon I'm happy with the outcome of that situation. Very nice. All right, now we can hammer down and get back to the farm. Lovely chunk of money. Yeah. All right, so you can tell it was the way to the load because now we're we're doing just fine. <clears throat> I always I always watch either way. I'm working two jobs, always busy, huh? But sounds like uh, at least one of those jobs enables you to uh, watch every once in a while, maybe? No? No? Or you're, like, too busy to be able to watch. That suspension, though, you like that? That thing popped up after the weight was off. <laughs> Boing! All right, good stuff. Sitting a little under 100 grand. Very nice. I like that. One thing I gotta keep an eye on is water on the gold production. It eats through that water so quick. I found it easier to just buy the water. Just seems like uh, a quicker way to go. Water's cheap. All right, let's take a look at the gold factory. Yeah, look how quick it goes through that darn water. So what I do is I just buy water, $402. Boom, topped off. Stone, we also buy that. Three grand, $2,600 to top off that. Only thing I don't pay for, usually I don't pay for the water, but I just, that, that wasn't much. Methane gets distributed from our biogas plant, so we don't pay for that either. As long as we keep slurry in the plant, it pushes out methane. And uh, nice, very nice. Apples are distributed. Honey is gonna be something we run out of quick, but you can still make apple juice. So once the honey runs out, we just won't be able to make the apple honey, but we'll still be able to make apple juice. It's all good, buddy. Feel me? It's all right. Get her done. All right, let's drop some lime. Where's my tractor? Drop some lime on that canola field we harvested. Get the pH levels right where they need to be. Gold is heavy. 
When I get the chance, yes, I always try to pop in when I can, even if it's for a few minutes, and I appreciate that, brother. I used to have a 36-foot box trailer in my old Chevy pulled it fine. One of my buddies came over with his Ford and borrowed my trailer. I broke his truck before he got out of my driveway. Come on! <laughs> yeah, We're baby. just a bunch of hillbillies yeah. up in here, aren't we? Come on! Break that truck, daddy. All right, hook up to the Kubota. I got a little bit of lime in here. So we'll just burn the rest, and then we will have to uh, purchase some. Thing has a beautiful large spread on it. Bottom left corner, right next to my face, you'll see the uh, pH levels. See how it's going from a light green, or more like a bright yellow to a light green. That's bringing the pH levels right where they need to be. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Very nice. Yes, very nice indeed. Probably wouldn't hurt to drop some lime on the grass field, too. Yeah. Like three swipes and you're done. I've never played this game, but it looks like fun. It's relaxing. It's a very relaxing game, HVAC. So if you like a uh, laid back, relaxing, but yet satisfying, like you, you you get to see everything you put your time into like grow and then you get to harvest it. And then if you get into the whole production thing, you can move things around and create other products. I like it. I'm a huge uh, farm sim advocate. With the gold money, you could buy more bees. Oh, more, you mean more bees to make more honey. I see what you mean. I see what you mean right there. That's a good idea right there, mm -hmm. And now that I have honey, oh, you just gave me an idea. Time out. You just gave me an idea. Uh, oh, you can't do that with honey, huh? Honey's not a production, is it? Oh, that stinks. I was going to say I could have it distribute, but it doesn't work that way. Nope, you, gotta, you have to load up the honey pallets and deliver them. That'd be cool, though, if you could uh, have it set to distribute. Oh, look at that. We're so close. Almost had enough to cover the whole field. All right, let's go... Uh, Purchase a refill. We got plenty, plenty of money to do that. All right, so mulched, limed, and that's probably all we'll do to that field for now. Month of July, we can't plant anything yet. So, and weeds are gonna grow. So there's nothing else to do but just put the rest of the lime on it. Would you be interested in any of the other maps? If you would be, how would I send them to you, buddy? Ah, uh, what are, what other maps you got? You got other public maps that I don't know about? What kind of maps are we talking about? I'll be honest, like this is my main map I'm on right now. And then uh, once the premium expansion comes out, I'll be probably hitting that map pretty hard as well. But uh, are you talking about a map like you're in the work, the one you're working on, or a map that you've already made? Because Dark Forest, that's the only one that I knew that, that you guys made. I didn't know you had another one. All right, I just spent about four grand on Lime to top that off. It can be a little pricey, but it's it's worth it when you get a better yield on your harvest. Oh, on PC only. Oh. Uh, you can message me on Discord. If you join my Discord, just uh, message me directly through there. That's probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. Hey, Frost, my cuz was on the Kelly Clarkson show today. Your cuz? Who's your cuz? 
was on the Kelly Clarkson show. She's a wild lady, isn't she? I like her. She's funny. Kelly Clarkson. She's always uh, full of energy. <laughs> was she, wasn't she a judge on The Voice? Right? The Voice? I think she was a judge on The Voice. I can't remember. She was a judge for something. You know, Kelly Clarkson. All right, we could drop some lime on that field, but I don't really want to. It's just grass. I don't want to waste lime money on a grass field. All right, so that's off our checklist. Get our equipment sprayed down here. I'm so enjoying the FS stream tonight. I like the others, but not as much. Tomorrow, Scooter, you're going to like tomorrow. I'm just saying. Tomorrow, I'm playing an early release game that was sent to me by the developer. And it, it, it kind of has to do with what uh, Miss Frosty does in real life. But not quite the way it's... You'll see. <laughs> so it'll be fun. That'll be tomorrow night around 8 p.m. Eastern. It is nice to be back on the farm, though. Here's some games you won't see me playing anytime soon that I've played in the last couple weeks is Alaskan Truck Simulator. I'm not streaming that again until I get close to winter time. And I don't know when that's going to be because there's no way to fast forward time on that darn game. So I just, I, yeah, we'll get there when we get there, I guess. So, yeah, you won't see that for a little bit. Um, what was I going to do? I feel like I was going to do something. I know I was going to do something. What was I going to do, chat? I don't have any slurry, so I was thinking about spraying this field with my uh, sprayer so it's fertilized and ready to rock and roll for next time. Yeah, let's do that. We'll h hook up to the cloths. Oh, no, we're not going to do that. That's herbicide. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. That got fertilized. That's herbicide. I don't want that. Yeah, don't worry about that. I'll put slurry on it at some point. She's from Bur Burleson, Texas. All right, Mr. Uh, T-Bone. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, I'll... And another thing, please be patient. I have the worst memory in the world, I swear. If I see your message pop up, I will respond. But if you're waiting for me to message you, I will forget. And it's nothing against anybody. I just, I have the worst memory. Like, I'm, I, just, I just, yeah, I don't have good memory. Is this full? This is full, chat. Let's drop some slurry. Get me some slurry stickers. I'm going to drop some poo on this field right here. Come on. Going to get a first dose of fertilizer up in her. I didn't know if I had any or not. So I got a full trailer and I got about 5,900 liters sitting in the uh, the cow barn. So, be nice. The real Uncle Billy. What's up, the real Uncle Billy? More bees. Yeah, more bees, more honey. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. And I could put the honey, I could put the new honey things over by that factory since that's where all the honey will be anyway. Get it, honey bee anyway. <laughs> oh, I thought the trailer was facing the other way. I'm all jacked up here. Yeah, what do you think? Should we invest in uh, more bee, bee houses and place them over at the apple factory? There's plenty of grass areas over there to plop them down. The pallets are still going to spawn over at the other one, though, which is fine. Oh, I thought that was a full load. Yeah, dang it.
the rest out of there. There we go. We got 35,000 liters. That will not be enough to cover this. But get a head start, right? See? Turning that red into a nice yellow color. That's nice. We'll, we'll be lucky if we can even do one headland. <clears throat> more bees, yes. Okay, I'll plop some more bees down. Because the honey, the honey flavored apple juice sold for twice as much as regular apple juice. So yeah, it's probably smart that we uh, try to get as much honey coming in as we can. Honey, honey, honey. Oh, maybe we will get a head linen. Nice. More bees means more money. Made on honey and other productions, yes. This is going a little further than I thought it would. Not upset with that at all. Go across here one more time. There we go. Could move the spawn point near the factory. Good. You're right. I could. I don't think there's any honey spawned in there at the moment either. Ah, there's a partial pallet. So right now, all the honey spawns right behind me there. Because that's where my, my beehive is. So I could... Yeah, replace the spawning point. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's poo everywhere, chat. Now we got Mike Keith celebrating four months. Thank you, sir. Yeah, baby. Do yeah. these help your crop yields? And if so, how far from the hive? <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you. It's actually... It's okay. So if you put a beehive, if you put a bee thing down, you're going to get honey no matter what. But if you want to increase the yield of your crops, you want to go into the exit menu, go down to the help menu, and we're going to look for yield boost. No. We're going to look at animals. Maybe it's improving yields, blah, 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 animals, bees. All right, so <clears throat> food is not required. Product is honey. Beehives produce honey, which can be processed further or sold directly. Place your beehives next to fields as the bees will increase the yield of these crops. Canola, sunflower, and potato fields. It doesn't increase the yield of other crops. That's that's it only it's just canola, sunflower and potato fields. Honey will be delivered to the freely placeable delivery area. Okay? So those three crops you can see a uh, boost in your yield. But otherwise, it's just going to make honey by uh just naturally. You just place down the thing and it slowly makes honey. It, it's one of the slower productions. You don't get a ton of honey. It, it takes a while to make a bunch. So if you got a lot of money to blow and you want to put a bunch of beehives down, then that's the only way you're going to get a bunch of honey. Slow process. 
All right, Mr. T-Bone. Thank you, buddy. I will check it out, sir. Appreciate you stopping by, buddy. He does take advice from chat Kevin Flores. He just forgets to like two minutes later. Exactly. I forget two minutes later. Dang! I did not think I was going to be able to cover this much of the field with one, not even a full tank of slurry. <clears throat> Pretty amazed. We are about to run out, though. Down to our last dribbles. That was a good spread, though. Nice. Four percent. Yeah. Nice. I'm happy with that. That went way further than I thought. There you go. Almost covered that whole darn field there. Not shabby. Frosty taking advice from the chat? Yes, always. Always. All right, so here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to take this with me. I'm going to go into the construction view and sell the selling point. All right. And then we're going to place a new one over at the other place. Let's go for a little walk. We're going to carry our honey all the way down to the str down to the uh, production. Wee! Right here. All right, cool. So now that we got that set up, I think we'll put the actual beehives. I think it'd be smart to just put them We'll, we'll break it off of this and put them in here. <clears throat> so animals, bees. The biggest one is 25K a piece. Woo! 25K a piece. Uh, I think we'll do two. That's 50 grand and then we'll put, a, we'll put the big place thing down. It doesn't mean we won't add more to it in the future, but for now. Where the heck's the uh, spawn thing? I, I can't tell where the... Uh... Oh, duh. Never mind. The spawn thing is separate. <laughs> All right, where were we? What was I saying? No, I need to put them close to my... Okay, so the spawn point doesn't matter where that goes. I want to put these close to where I'm going to put canola. So I want these close to my fields, duh. So I'm going to slap one right here. And then we'll slap the other one right here. And that way, that should hit either field if either one of them has canola in it it's going to give a nice boost so three beehive that's that's beautiful i'm happy about that so now all i gotta do is put the uh spawning point over here where it's easy to i might just slap it like right here right behind the factory only one item at it. there we go nice <clears throat> what's up ann mcpherson how old are you Ann? how you been doing uh why did you why you got dvr on dvr on why you got DVR on? What's that mean? DVR? 
I don't know what you mean, Jesse. Anybody know what that means? Why do you got DVR on? Once I figure out what the heck you're talking about, I'll answer your question. I'm trying to figure out what DVR means. Why you got DVR on? What are you talking about, Try it. Oh no, I ain't talking about. I'm gonna uh, pop a hole in the fence right here. And make like a little uh, path. And maybe I'll invest in a forklift or something. Not right now, but in the future. Yeah. Decorations. We'll block this in here. There you go. All right, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? So this is where all the honey will spawn from all that. So it's not live all the time. People can be way behind on the stream. <clears throat> Uh, let's viewers go back in the stream instead of only watching live. Why do I have that on? Yeah, that's... Yeah. Oh, that's what you mean. So it's not live all the time. I'm live right now. People can be way behind on the stream. No, I, I am live right now. But you do have the ability to go back in time if you wanted to go find something or catch up on something and then get rushed up to the live all right anyways we got that all situated <laughs> uh honey and i probably will buy a forklift i think that'd be kind of nice just for, just for fun for giggles so we can spend our money there's not one for sale so we'll head to the store what's the cheapest forklift on the market eh 52. I might be able to get away with this guy right here. That might be fine for just uh, transporting him back and forth. It's the only one I can afford anyway. <clears throat> we'll put a load bracket on there. Work light. I don't need GPS. Oh, I can even paint it blue. How cool is that? A New Holland blue forklift truck. Nice. $5,500. That thing works good for uh, things on level land, so. Look at that. Haha. <laughs> beep, beep. All right, let's go get our, uh, whoa! Whee! Can I spread the forks or does it only lift them? Oh, okay, you can't spread them, which is fine. No biggie there. This is just uh, to show you how lovely it works. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, chat. So that's how that'll work from now on. Whenever I get honey, I'll just run over there and get it. These things are fun to operate. If nobody's ever operated one of these, or if you have, they're so much fun. They are pretty fun to use. There you go, chat. Beautiful. All right. Get him brought back to the house. I think we're just about done, chat. I've done more than I thought I was gonna do on the farm. All kinds of good stuff got done tonight. Sold the gold, put in honey, uh, harvested the canola, put in the new apple factory, got it all up and running with all the water and honey and sugar and all that crap it needed. Mulched, lime, cut grass, filled the fermenters. We've been all over the place. Been busy. Get the truck sprayed down. It hasn't been washed in a while. My trailer's dirty. 
Oh, you're fine, Ann. I've been kind of missing in action lately myself. Just been super busy, and uh, last night things didn't work on Farm Sims, so I wasn't even able to stream. And just busy. Lots of stuff going on. Sports and events for the kids at school. So, you don't have to be sorry about a darn thing, you hear me? You're all right. You're all right in my book. and clean. You need a charging station for that forklift. I'll keep an eye on that. Oh, that reminds me. I need to put in a fuel a fuel tank in my farm. Uh, a couple, the one the Kloss tractor is getting very, even this truck is a half a tank of fuel. But the Kloss is very low on fuel. And I've been meaning to put down a fuel station. So, let's see here. Containers. Containers or tools? Containers. <clears throat> I don't need nothing crazy. It's, uh, probably more than 5,000. Eh, even 5,000 liters is enough. Just something... I, I'm, I don't have a crap load of equipment. Let's put this bad boy... <clears throat> Let's put it like right... Here. Decorations. that I like that I'm, I am gonna have to fill it with fuel though that's gonna cost us a little bit of money uh, 5,000 liters 12 grand there goes the rest of our money almost I got fifty six hundred dollars left over chat I, I know how to spend that money that is one thing I don't need help with is spending that money on farm sim Went from half a tank to a full tank. Come on, get it done. With all that honey, you will be buzzing around now. That's gonna be good. Move that stuff, keep that factory rolling. That'll be good. <clears throat> I'm gonna fill up the Kloss tractor because it's getting close to empty. That's the tractor that was the reason I needed a fuel bay because this thing is just about empty. Yeah, look at that. Less than a quarter tank. Uh, thanks, had to get my... I, I feel you, Ann. I feel you. I'm glad you're doing better. And thank you for the one Canadian super chat there, Ann. Glad you're in a better mood and spirits are in a good place. Thank you, Ann McPherson. Thank you. The honey usually goes in between the spread. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, jump a speed bump. Do you know how to save money? Not on farm sim, no. Kaboom! All right, let's uh, fill this up with some fuel, huh? She could use a little spray down, too. Trailer's filthy, tractor's dirty. Got to clean up our farm before we call it a night chat. Yeah, but like I said, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, brand new game, early access. Uh, make sure you tune in. It'll be fun. It'll be interesting. It's uh, 
it's a fun game. I played a little bit of it today to get familiar and comfortable with how it all goes, and it's 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 pretty fun. So they fixed the developers fixed the uh, parking tycoon that we played last week. They fixed that ramp issue where the cars were disappearing after dropping down from the second level. So if anybody was thinking about getting that game, they did fix it. The parking business tycoon game. It is uh, fixed. Which it would have been nice if it was fixed when I was streaming it. But that's all right. It's fixed now. All right. She was in desperate need of fuel. And repairs, but I don't care about repairs. Until that thing breaks down, I'm not repairing it. <laughs> the game subject is it's it's it relates to what my wife does in real life. So if you're a long time member and you have somewhat of a memory like I don't, you might know a little about what the game will be tomorrow. So We'll see. 8 p.m. Eastern, early access stream. It'll probably be a pretty fun fun show, I'm hoping. All right, so this is our preload of grass for the sheep. We'll leave that under the port there so it stays dry just in case it rains. Chat, that's it. We ended the night with $5,600. We made close to 200 grand. We spent all that crap. We spent it all. So, uh, yeah, that is going to do it. Let's get into flight mode. We'll fly around. I like flying around each time we end the uh, Survival Series episodes. So anybody new or just hasn't caught every episode can take a look at what the farm looks like. So there's the main farmyard. That's where we store all the equipment, our silos for crops. Uh, we do have sheep, open range sheep, which I'm in the process of cutting their trees down so it's more open range. We're getting there. <clears throat> Over here is our massive chicken coop. It holds 500 chickens. They're in there popping out eggs for us on a daily basis. Pretty good, pretty nice. Over here is our cow barn, which I think has about... I don't remember how many cows are in there. There's quite a few. And then we have our fermenters. This one makes silage out of grass. This one makes hay out of grass. Then I just mix the two to make TMR in the mix truck to feed them uh, the good stuff. Then of course you've seen the uh, three beehive houses we put down. We have three of them total now. They pump out some honey. Our biggest field is this massive one. It's a massive wheat field that will be ready to harvest on the next episode of this series. Huge field. It goes across all three parcels of property that we own. It's massive. And then over here is our straw processing production. Straw hats, straw bags, straw baskets. And all you got to do is add water and deliver straw from your harvest. Our bakery, we put this in on the previous episode, which we haven't got it up and running yet. We need to get flour from the grain mill once we harvest some wheat. So eventually this will be up and running. But it's, uh, it's ready to go. And down yonder, this is just our little filling station where we can get seeds, lime, solid fertilizer, stuff like that. Uh, this is my little uh, role play store I put in. I just put the spawn point there when I buy stuff sometimes. <clears throat> Sawmill, grain mill, makes oil and flour. And I can do pig feed if we ever do pigs on this map, which I'm not thinking I will, but you never know. Tonight, tonight we put in this bad boy. This is our new juice factory, apple juice and apple honey juice. 
that's the actual factory that makes it. But in order to get the apples, we had to put in apple trees. We put in eight apple trees. All filled with 20,000 liters of water each. And they distribute apples to the factory. And made a little hangout park inside, I guess. How's Kevin Flores' idea? He's like, put some picnic tables in your orchards. It'll be nice. So I, I couldn't say no. Couldn't say no to him, right? It was a good idea. And then we put down our spawn point for honey. So all those honey beehives out in the fields, all the pallets produced from them will spawn right here. And then we'll just forklift them right around the corner to here. That's what we did tonight with uh, the survival series. Did you enjoy the show? If you did, can you give it a like? That's if you really did enjoy it, all right? I probably will be missing the stream tomorrow. All right, Tony. Well, I'm sad because it's going to be fun. That stinks for you, Tony. Yeah, it stinks. Later, Frosting Chat. Stay safe, and I hope to see you all tomorrow night. I'll be here around 8 p.m. Eastern, guys. Still need some wood to burn in the fire. You don't need no wood. Look at this. I don't need no wood. Watch this right there. About to blow your mind. Watch this. Just light a match. Boom. Slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's all. All right, guys. Phil, peace out. David Turville, thank you. Ian W, have a splendid evening. Tommy Powers, Dustin Larson, Josh Rutledge, good night. Uh, Aaron Ashlock, good evening and goodbye. Ann McPherson, thank you for stopping in. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, Jesse and scooter's workbench all of frosty's britches have holes in the pockets money just flows right through yes i agree all right <laughs> thank you so much guys i'm out of here catch you tomorrow it's big rig frosty gaming signing off I, and all i can really say at this point is goodbye yeah that fire pit is by the one and only scooter's fire pit bench workbench thank you chat good night do see you guys later Peace.